Lousy. And then I ended up here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's so weird that we wait until this exact moment to greet each other, even though I'm in your house. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Actually, I won't lie. I just sit the, until your part comes back. Yeah, the awkward silence that we just sat in now for two hours was fucking strange. Oh, it? No, it wasn't two hours. It was about an hour. It felt like three. Yeah, it felt like you were staring at me for three at least. And I was. Albert, Albert's here as well. How are you, Albi? Yo, how's this? Yeah, good. Thank you. It was quite awkward. I won't. I won't lie, especially when I was trying to talk and no one answered. Yeah, but you didn't have your pants on, dude. Mm. It was a little bit weird. To be fair, yeah, it was but weird it was that dark. your vest doesn't cover your nipples, dude. It was dark, so I didn't <laughs> think people saw. It's very weird that your nipples are that long, dude. Yeah. Were you born mm. like that? Is it? Is that a procedure? Do you? Is it like putting it holes in your ears? You know, like you you put the like you stretch your ears. This is do you not do by that choice. with your nipples? No, dude? this is no. not by choice. This was birth. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Can you like tie your vest closer to your chest by just like you remember that song? Knot um, what was it where you can can you tie them in or not? Can you tie them in a bow? No, I never heard can it in my entire life. Sorry. Like no. a continental soldier. Continental Rachel. breakfast. Do your Rachel. ears hang <laughs> low. <laughs> that one was real? about my nipples at first, and oh, then is it? they just went to ears. Oh, that was like that was a prophecy because I wrote that a lot, like a lot sooner than you were born. Yeah. That's pretty crazy, yeah. dude. This is the coming isn't of. It, isn't it a regimental soldier? The <laughs> continental soldier. Continental breakfast. Oh yes, I'm <laughs> like here a for continental the breakfast. I'm here for the ham and cheese, <laughs> commander. Oh, do you have a little <laughs> little glasses of juice? <laughs> but speaking of nipples, um, would you would you <laughs> yes, rather? I would. would you, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> would you rather have a finger length nipples or nipple length fingers? This is. <laughs> A trick question. Dude, you know, it's funny. I'm not even thinking about finger length like nipples. <laughs> just I'm just thinking of, of like, these little stubby hands, dude. Hey, but Bruh. how difficult would it be to play like games? We say this, dude, but we got one handed bandit. That's true. One handed bandit. And he does shows it. us that you can do yeah, it. Yeah, he fucking, dude, that is, that is beat Elden Ring. I haven't even done, tried. I guess. I can't even get through the menu, dude. It's so scary. <laughs> Why <Why's laughs> the game so difficult? It's so hard, dude. <laughs> no, the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's also quite hard, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but yeah, dude, I don't know. Um, I think I'd have like finger, finger length nipples. Yeah, 100%. I can. Yeah. Like I'm, a thumb. What do you mean, you are? Yours are fucking longer, dude. That means you'd have a reduction. Yeah, but I can't imagine living without my fingers. Because, I mean, just yeah, yeah, imagine that's how go, it would Oh, look. I'm going to have finger length nipples. It means your nipples will be smaller than they are now. Exactly. So, why wouldn't I go for that uh, choice? I don't know. This was rigged, dude. This is a good choice, right? I mean, um, it's. Then so, you'd rather being, have that, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I mean, it's yeah. settled. Let's take him to the surgeon. You did pick. Yeah. We, we, we we'll paying? sponsor it. Who's yeah. paying? We'll sponsor it. The show okay. will. We've got like six players on our latest podcast. Yeah. Also, Perfect. Whose who's yeah. fingers are we replacing his nipples with? I oh, don't know. We're not putting fingers. Oh, you're putting fingers there. No, we're dude, not putting listen. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. We're going finger length. We're not putting no, no, fingers no. on my nipples. But listen, dude. Imagine you had fingers as nipples. Hey. No, I'm in, dude. Yeah, because if you like had you nipples as fingers, uh, fuck that, yeah. dude. You'd, you'd like be able. Does nothing. You'd be able to hold. You'd, you'd be able to hold like little cables while you're busy, like doing cable but you management. Could, you could hold your vest against your chest. Wait, are we talking like five fingers on your nipple, no, or just no, one no, finger, dude. just a like, single, what the singular fuck is finger? Wrong with you, dude. Well, I don't know. <laughs> like an imposable thumb. Just, Just one, like yeah. one singular finger. Would you, on which your finger? Nipple. If you had to pick a finger, oh, thumb. Hundred percent, because it's not that long and still does the job. No, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Why did you My wiggle man. it like that, dude? My dude, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, <laughs> my uh, brother, <laughs> does the job, dude. Hey, it's not that long, but it does the job. Yes, yeah, so, dude. You know when you when you do that little hand step thing and you flip your fingers across, yes. this is wet. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> this is fucking it's wet. It's been doing the job, dude. That <laughs> 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 one. No, I don't know if I'd go for thumb, dude. Why not? Thumb, what did you go for? Your thumb can't go. I'd go for like my my pointer finger. Yeah, but what are you trying to do? Point that people will have them noticing. No, They're gonna what, what's going to be the most? <laughs> 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 the Sorry, so why is your shirt pointing at me? Yeah, yeah, but you can bend it, dude. You can bend <laughs> and it. And your thumb can't you bend your thumb? What's wrong with you? Yeah, but I you? can't bend my thumb all the way here. I can yeah. do this. Look. Yeah, yeah check it this. Like yeah, yeah, dude. Eep, 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 eep. 
Do you like when you get a nipple stand? Do you like get lightheaded? Is it so long? Do you, do you like? Is it a procedure? Do you? What do you do? Like wiggle yeah. your toes? Like <laughs> flick out your fingers and make sure that the blood no, circulates. Just again. like you know when you 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 like shake your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I just shake my hand, try and like get the blood flowing to the yeah, yeah. That's instead good. of so it bypasses the nipple section. It's crazy, dude. They've come a long way with hand. science. Yeah. They really have. Yeah, I'm glad there's a solution so cool, for yeah. this, dude. Yeah, no, hundred percent because so whenever you see me walking around and I'm just yeah. cooing with my hands and just shaking, <laughs> shaking. <laughs> I never want to see that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I wish there was video because then mm-hmm. people won't think I'm such a creep. But um, um, I don't know if that would help. To be fair, yeah. I don't think we could put that anywhere on the internet, dude. Mm, okay. Pornhub, maybe. Hey. No, hey. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, all right. The only thing we could put on Pornhub is my gameplay. <laughs> Yo. It's fucking atrocious. You Little fat man gets it. fucked by <laughs> X Y Z. You know, <laughs> I've seen anything that one, I could dude. upload onto. <laughs> yeah, because even in Battle Bit, yeah, <laughs> little little fat guy gets fucked by Square Chode. <laughs> 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 How horrible would that be? Fucking hell. The square penis. Anyway. Um, so how's everybody's week Perfect doing? segue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> natural flow, natural flow, Us. and stop. My week. <laughs> yeah, my week was fun, My week. <laughs> my, week. Um, my week was great, dude. We started off with the Drickus win, yes. which was cool. Um, but naturally, what led from the Drickus win was just trolling. A Oh, I guess, uh, but like just trolling Strickland fanboys yeah, on, on Twitter because um, that, that was fun. Uh, just because. Especially because they're such sore losers. Such yeah. sore losers, dude. So, I was thinking about this today. Do you think South Africans would have been sore losers like that if we didn't win? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm going to be honest. As much so as what we're seeing with we America. I appreciate it a little, but let's be honest. If there's one thing we know about the Rugby World Cup and sort of rugby games in general, South yeah, Africans that's are fucking terrible. Terrible losers. Yeah, but that's right. Oh, fucking ref. Fucking the whole time. Yeah, but that's right, yeah. dude. I don't know. I mm. think with, with well, Richie McCaw. Remember when Richie McCaw played rugby? That's it's still stemming through because they they just look past all of their errors. You know, that's South Africa. Yeah, and no, yeah, but that's rugby. Losers. That's rugby. I think I think we would have been different with this because it could have swung either way, and we would have that's been like, I also whatever. think because of the I think the they would have been was, bad losers. Like they would yeah. ter- definitely be. They people would be, like but that. I don't think as badly as what the Sean Strickland fans have been because I think. This fight was so close that yeah. if we had lost, if Trickers did lose, yeah, we go like okay, we would be like okay, fair yeah. enough, you know, because we can see it. You know, he did put in quite a few, like you know, his little jabs and things yeah, like yeah. that. And whatever. I mean, he did so, damage. I would have still asked questions because he's. But there, there, I, I think there would have always been those sore losers yeah. that would have trolled the internet. You know, those even from South Africa, or yeah. whatever. So, but, but, uh, yeah, but I'm think, loving it, dude. I think the 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 Strickland fans have been a lot worse. Yeah, dude, they're man. terrible, man. Yeah. Like, um, but but what I'm loving is that, like, man, how do I say this without being incredibly rude? I think the general intelligence <laughs> of, <laughs> of his fans, I don't know, dude. It's so funny, dude. Just engaging with those Listen, people. I'm going to stop you right there and say there's no way <laughs> you can say that in a polite way. You're fucking dumb. <laughs> they're dwarf, dude. They won't understand that. I can't believe you. Yeah, let's must push them with. That's great for Strickland. Yeah, let's push them with. So, like, I, I never, I never like really engage in like personal insults. But I was having fun with that guy. I showed you guys a photo. Like, yes, yeah. Um, I was having a lot of fun with that guy, and I, I thought it was a bit of banter, but he took it incredibly personally. I think. Um, which is his loss, like, I don't care. I was about to say, that's his fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, he started off by being like, oh, just a, 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 like an incredibly biased South African rat. And then, like, um, man's got, yeah. I, I just I just responded <laughs> with, wow, dude, like 90% of your profile pictures are forehead and you come in here with insults. Um, <laughs> and the guy, the guy didn't like that. And, yeah. like, I, I mean... I, I thought we were just bantering. Like he, his entry was incredibly weak. Oh yeah. You know? So yeah. like, so you got to step the level up a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to come back and be like, oh, you're 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 just a little house mouse. Mm. <laughs> no, dude. It's like, forehead's big, bro. It's like my favorite. <laughs> like when people try to roast you with your own profile picture. Like you. So here's my logic, right? You chose that picture, knowing full well the yeah. rest of the internet and the world or, or whoever would see it. 
Yeah, and if you, you're going to cause you cuck, you've got to understand. That. Yeah. And like the first thing people talk to me about picture? is my bald head, dude. Exactly. Like, oh, but fuck, you I didn't know, even know, dude. You know you have a bald head, but I that's didn't the thing. until the soak told me, I, dude. But you see, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. We must change your profile picture. Yeah, fat bald guy, dude. That's yeah. what he called me, dude. But this is the thing. Like, you know full well <laughs> that you chose that profile picture and people will still be like, this you, like old reliable <laughs> yeah. fucking oh, this golden you. spatula, <laughs> this you with a question mark, and it's your profile picture, and then you're like, yes, yes, it, what, like, yeah. how can I help? Well, please? that's what this guy did because he was like, yeah. oh, I found your Instagram. I'm like, bro, my link tree is yeah, on my profile. I put it there. So yeah. uh, two you, clicks. Just yeah, you should Two just clicks. say, I found your Instagram. Cool. Check out my TikTok as well. Give me a follow. I like, oh, do. This guy's been through every link but, because he yeah. was like, oh, and I see you so shit at games, but you're trying to make it as a gaming creator, and I was like, bro. This yeah. this really affected you, yeah. Just, and then he po- posted a, down the another picture hole. of himself. He's like, "This is what I look like now." With you, I'm sure you wish. Yeah, it was you my wish this is what I look like. Fist up and everything. Like, <laughs> yeah. mm. And then I just put an IMAX yeah. sign on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> James Cameron, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> but he said something yeah. about that, like, oh, your mom kisses me on my head every night. And oh, you know when you have those yeah. sh- those thoughts in the show and you're like, yeah. I should have said this? Yeah. I should have been like, yes, this dude. She must have to wear her lips a couple of times because that's a lot of real estate. Yeah, no, exactly. You know? yeah. Oh, your mom sits on my face. Dude, everybody could. Yeah. There's so much space. Yeah, exactly. So, like they could lie down. Don't yeah. be so greedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give everybody a bed. Come on. <laughs> but I've, been, yeah. I've just been having fun and like... Yeah, for me, it's harmless, but but people take like I realize now, like j- during this week, people take life way too fucking seriously. Actually, like what, like what changes? Yeah, after exactly. after like, this like the result Facebook, that you went in. Yeah, and and like those memes that you posted on yeah. on your blog, Hizzle. Oh wow, my <laughs> word! On Facebook, where it was like, it was for those of you that didn't see it, it was a picture of a car window, and it's like I love leaving cute little notes for people, and it was like this torn off exam pad <laughs> that said, "Call me, I'm pregnant." <laughs> <laughs> under the windscreen, under the like windscreen uh, wiper. I want to read the yeah, comment. Please just dude. read the comment because that uh, absolutely yeah. sinked me. Yeah. Like everybody knows, like I mean, nobody's going to take it seriously. If if you if you are that far along with someone, if that you're you, taking life advice from a meme yeah. page, but also if you're that far along that you having sex with someone, and they're going to tell you in that way, then you've done something seriously yeah. fucked up. Firstly, and you actually shouldn't be a parent. <laughs> Secondly. That you should at least be on the terms where they can phone you and say, "Oh, hey, by the way, I am carrying your child." You know, sort oh, here of thing. we go. Are you ready for this? Yeah, dude? please read that for us. Um, okay, so the problem with my Facebook page, right, is like I've got like thirty six thousand followers, but they all came along after I posted like some deep ass video uh, in like twenty sixteen. So majority, I think it's like seventy percent of my audience on Facebook is old white women in America. Mm. Okay, so this is. This is a comment. <laughs> Not funny when notes have potential to create real fear, stress, anger, a real flood of emotions. Person finding notes on car could have just learned of death of loved one or they have cancer. A note to have a great day or something positive, much better, especially if they are depressed or not wanting to live. And she put an exclamation mark. So I just said, I won't stick this on your car then. Um, (laughs) Sorry, Sharon. (laughs) This other homie. That's even your real name. (laughs) This other homie comes in. He's like, not a good way to destroy a marriage. Not funny at all. So I just put a laughing face. Yeah. Um, Because how are you going to destroy a marriage by by doing that? Like... I don't know, dude. People are, like people, people, are very serious, people think dude. up these fucking crazy situations for other people that are living. You know, dude, but like, people think uh, I don't, I don't know, that's crazy. Because I, ju- I just I post memes and stuff that I come yeah. across. It's, it's things that make me laugh, and I'm like, let me just put it somewhere else. You know that video? There's that girl like in the back of, of a convertible. The convertible starts Sylvia. closing. Yeah. They're yeah. like, Sylvia, the, the car is eating you or whatever, <laughs> and she's screaming. Dude, I got DMs. From old people saying that is cruel. I've reported your page. I've reported you to like uh, the child protection services yeah. and all these things. I was like, what? The- okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. I was but, like, yeah, just let me know what they need from yeah. you. <laughs> but that's the problem. Like, I, but I don't know, dude. Like, I really feel like people yes, over 60 shouldn't have access to the internet uh, other than maybe to YouTube to watch music videos and stuff. And that's about it. What's a because rotary phone version of the internet, dude? That is emails, uh, right? Uh, mix it. MSN Mix. <laughs> yeah, it is actually MSN and Mix 33. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't know. Like, they, uh, I don't know. 
you know, they, they shouldn't be allowed because like, that's the problem is they like, they, they, um, oh, they understand memes or may as they probably call it <laughs> for like, uh, like for the most part, they'll, they'll get a meme. Like if it's like a dad joke meme, but like one mm. like that, it's like, oh, it's dark humor, but it's also like, it doesn't, it's, it's not that deep. Like no, dude, it, really it really isn't is. going to have that much of an impact. Yeah. I, th- I think, yeah, I don't know, dude. Um, who was I think it? those I th- people are living with a lot of guilt. Yeah, you, yeah. It's like there was that one thing where <laughs> just want like, to ruin my, my <laughs> marriage. Yeah, this dude. actually ruined my marriage. <laughs> what the note? No, an affair that no, I Facebook. had. But it's your fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I found yeah. my ex girlfriend through <laughs> Facebook and had an affair with her. But it's your fault, dude. It's so crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's just it's wild to me that I think it was Jimmy Carr that said in his latest special where he was like. If people don't laugh at dark humor, then your life must be so depressing because there's so many bad things happening in the world. Yeah, there really so, are. So it's okay to have a bit of a dark humor. Yeah. It's okay to laugh at those jokes that are like teetering on the edge. Yeah. Like your intentions are what's like, that's the golden thread, yeah. right? At the yeah. end of the day, it's like. If, if it's to harm, then it's terrible. Yeah, if yeah, it's, yeah. you know, like. I mean, it's not like <laughs> taking the piss out of a different race. That's no, a very, no, no, very no, different. No, that's a different thing. That's incredibly because, different. Because inherently there's a lot of sort of, uh, what do they call it? Prejudice and power over. Yeah. Over and belief, person. right? Exactly. Like, yeah. There, there's, like, I feel like when people tell racist jokes, there's always a piece of them in that. There's like, always truth and jest. Yeah, That's what they always, always say. There's always truth and jest. Always, you know? always, always, you know. And it's like you were saying now, you know, it's not terrible to have a dark sense of humor, but right. like we, I was reading um, that, that book still I'm busy with that book, fucking Hidden Potential. Anyway, good book. Um, but they yeah, were you talking got the name about right the first time. Yeah, song, yeah Hidden Gems. Yeah. Uncut yeah. Hidden Gems. Uncut yeah. Potential. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they were talking about um, mining, the you know, the Chilean mining accident where yes. there was that mine all collapse. Then all of a sudden, like, you know, like the guys were, it was a worldwide event, you know, and they were talking about how uh, the, the, how they solved the problem. They didn't like sit in a boardroom and go, we need plans because that's the worst way to fucking come up with ideas. But I'll get into that later, actually. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they were like, "Oh, cool, we, closing yeah. on like Tuesday morning." Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so they, they were then saying, "Like, okay, they taking submissions from around the world from mining engineers. Anybody can make a submission." And they apparently like they had such a laugh at some of the submissions, but they needed that laugh to give them hope in terms yeah. of that. Like, yes, it was a very serious moment. Yes, it was a very serious situation, but those laughs actually got them through. And the best part was they were talking about how they laughed because there was this like old school rotary, like landline sort of setup that this guy had hooked up to a fiber optic cable and was like, yeah, we can run this fucking 600 meter long cable or however <laughs> long it was down this chute because it's so small and slender. And, and then you can at least communicate with them. And then the guys were like, ha, 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 that's so dumb. What were and they then, using a week later to yeah. fucking communicate with these chones? Exactly. <laughs> because the satellite wasn't working cell phones yeah, weren't working. Cable. literally then like they were like a week later this dude who invented this thing is <laughs> there on the fucking they were like it cost ten dollars yeah. ten fucking dollars yeah. for them to create this telephone to actually send it down there to talk to these people sort of thing so it is they were talking about like how like those moments got them through that shit and it was just funny because they were like oh this is so dumb and in the end it turned out to be like the best fucking thing you know but you need that man like life is you have to you have to make lots of things because if you if you think about the shit that we've lived through yeah it's insane dude i was reading a list of things the other day i'm like it's actually insane like it it's not a surprise to me that we're in this like mental health pandemic when we are constantly berated with such terrible fucking news, oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. Um, then I was watching something on uh, TikTok or X or whatever they call it now. Um, and it was these guys that do parkour in Palestine still. So like oh, they're geez. like doing parkour through all of the, the broken down buildings and stuff. These Palestinian guys. Oh, sure, and like cool. they do it and it's like, they were, they're interviewing the guy afterwards and he's like, we just want to show that like, even though you could like try and destroy everything around us, we can still make do, you know? Yes, yeah. Um, it's like our, our way of keeping our spirits alive. Yeah. I thought that was so magic, dude. There's so much power in what he just said that, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. even though the world is dark, like you can still laugh and have a good time. And mm. like, exactly, there's, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. You don't have to feel guilty for smiling. Because and also somebody like the thing with, with the thing with like, especially with comedians and stuff like that, cause you were mentioned, um, Jimmy Carr's, um, new show the other day or earlier um, and you were saying I mean even in there he says like I'm probably going to get cancelled for this but 
I mean, if you can't laugh about things, if you, you know, as you say, like you have to be able to joke about certain things. And it's not like you're putting that joke into actual physical use, you know, you're, yeah, not, gonna, yeah. you're not gonna joke you're not about- You're not motivating you're not motiv- Exactly, yeah. You're, you're not like joking about killing someone and then actually going out and killing someone. You're yeah. just joking about these things because it just makes lights of a serious situation. And then also just like- It humanizes feel, things. Exactly, I think like, yeah. I think the more we humanize topics, like the more we joke about things and like see them in a lighter note, like uh, I, I think that makes it more relatable for us. Like we can understand things a little bit better and we can digest them a little bit yeah. better. But it's like that Monty Python skit when Eric Idle and them in the life of Brian, when they're chilling on the crosses on the hill. And I mean, that's like, that's a song that everybody knows <laughs> when they all start singing like, oh, when life's a big kerfuffle <laughs> and whatever. And it's like, don't get in a ruffle. And it's like, always look on the bright side of life. It's and a true I mean, crucifixion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's literally like these dudes sitting on the cross, like, and they're, they're busy being crucified and like they're tapping their feet and whatever. And it's quite funny because then eventually they start like kicking their feet. And it is, it's like, you know what they always talk about like toxic positivity in terms of like sort of trying to find the best in the situation but at the end of the day i don't necessarily view that as toxic positivity i actually just see it as a coping mechanism as well Mm. but unfortunately there is there's so much dark shit in this world that you do you have to look past that as well to try and find some sort of semblance of hope and it's not saying ignore it that's i think the the i think the big sort of (sighs) I don't want to say defining factor is that you can't ignore the shit that's going on. No, no, you no. You really can't. That's that's not what we're saying. Don't. But it makes it easier it. to talk about. It right? does. It does because you Brings can address it up. and you can actually say, "Oh shit, what happened?" Yeah. You know, sort of thing, and then actually discuss it and educate and stuff like that. It's like um, this week. I don't know if you know Darren Kempfer. He's like the the he's a colored guy with these like crazy fucking neck tattoos, really cool neck tattoos, well tattoos in general. And he's a sort of activist and not socialist. I don't want to say socialist, but he's a, a anti racist activist sort of thing. He does a lot of TikToks. Um, uh, when you see him, you'll recognize him. Um, and anyway, so his uh, like he started following me this week. Well, I started following him, and then he sent a message. And he was like, hi, he's like, I really hope you're enjoying the content or, you know, what do you, are you enjoying? So I sent a message and I was like, you know, I really, I'm enjoying the fact that he's sort of educating, but not berating. Mm. This is, I think the important thing. So he's talking about very serious things. He does it in a humorous way as well. When he sort of makes, not, not makes fun of people that you know, I suppose he does, yeah. no, but he, he does, he takes, he takes the situation and he talks about it in a way that makes sense. Mm. It's direct. It's non, it's not convoluted, but also he doesn't belittle people that are willing to try and understand. He belittles those that he knows will never understand sort of thing. Uh, so he see. uses, so he'll use like a, like a racist comment and then he'll be like, he'll make a joke of it sort of thing, kind of like you're, what you were doing. And it's funny because then he educates at the same time. Mm-hmm. So for me, I fucking love it when it's like that. And it is because he's not denying that these things are going on, that they shit, but he's just doing it in a way where it's not um, like, it's not tedious. Yeah. You know, if, if that makes sense. I think, like, uh, I think it also comes down to intention, right? Like if you're saying something to belittle somebody, they you know, won't listen. Yeah, yeah. If if you're saying something to like completely discredit somebody, their feelings, their emotions, like any of those things, and you're speaking directly to that person, or you're speaking behind their back, but in your mind you're speaking about somebody, yeah, or like a group of people specifically mm. with your intention because you don't like him. Yeah, that's not dark humor. No, no, that's no, hatred. No, no. Yeah, yeah, hundred you know, percent. Dark humor is like <clears throat> it's 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 the joke. You know, it's like I won't even call it like the satire side of things. It's just like. I mean, no. I guess it kind of is, but it's, yeah, it is satirical usually by nature. But yeah, you know. but it's but it's like trying to make the topic more digestible and you know, yeah, like in a make way. it more. Yeah, bring it more into conversation yeah. I guess. and like you say it can it, it can sort of go too far where the intention is to sort of like belittle. And then that's when you know it's actually gone too yeah. far, you know. So it's yeah, it's a very fine line, I think. But, but it's comes not down to the not person, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Like it comes down to the person. If that person has that hate in their heart, then it's going to yeah. come through. Whatever know. they're saying, you know. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, old bit long nipples. Oh, you see like that <laughs> little bitch. Okay, <laughs> never mind. That was fine. <laughs> the long nipples comment. Oh, sorry, fucking sorry, sorry. Uncalled for. <laughs> so. That's a fun thing, actually, getting onto sort of what did you learn this week? Yes. That was what I learned this week about the telephone. 
Okay. Can I tell that you really cool. Also, do you know how many holes they drilled to actually get those chums out? Six. They ran six drilling operations. So they had six plans, essentially, to run different drills down at the same time in yeah. order to get there because these were the six best ideas. They weren't putting all the eggs in one basket. Kind That's of pretty thing. clever, And actually. they were then talking about how the guy that was leading that whole expedition or that mining expedition to get those guys out is actually, he considers himself quite an introvert and everybody's like, no, you have to be extroverted to be a leader. And I saw something the other day and they were saying sort of in common, sort of like in, in, in general population, your extroverts are about 57%. Ambiverts are about, I think, 15%. And so then, just explain the ambiverts. So an ambivert I think is somebody... Term that not a lot of people actually come across. Yeah, so an ambivert is basically somebody who is, I don't want to say social chameleon, because they, they can be introverted, but also have extroverted qualities, mm. sort of, and vice versa. So they can be... Um, outgoing, outspoken, loud, enjoy the party, sort of enjoy people. But then they can also have those moments where they need to recharge by themselves and stuff like that. Yeah. And everybody's like, hey, I need that. It's okay if it's like once in a blue moon, like once every six months mm -hmm. or once every three months where I know like I just need downtime. That's not, I'm, I'm not an ambivert. I am an extrovert or yeah. what, what people would assume is an extrovert. Whereas like people that regularly need that are more ambivert slash introvert. Yeah, yeah. It's thing. something that you can't really control. It's not something that you want. Yeah. And I think the, that's what makes the difference. It's like you have yeah. to have it. You, you, it's not that yeah. you want to no. go and just chill by yourself. No, it's like definitely you can't, not. You can't, yeah. you can't go out. Yeah. And then they were talking about sort of, so generally as it goes, the higher up in positions you get, the more extroverted people are and the more and the less sort of uh, people in those positions are introverted or even ambiverted. So they were saying it's something like below or 1% of sort of CEOs in the world are uh, introverts, 7% are ambiverts, and then the remainder, so that 92% is considered extroverted. And uh, for me, it was just quite interesting how people often assume that introverts cannot be leaders but it's about your pro-social skills and how you understand people and how people interact with each other and also most importantly how you validate each other mm. that was a big thing because they were talking about how brainstorming sessions don't work because if you get together in a room the loudest voice is going to make the most noise and it's going to suppress all the other people it's going to be intimidating you know? i heard you say moist noise yeah. you hear the that moist, as well moist noise makes the moist noise <laughs> from geordie shaw <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> sorry so the like, most noise, yeah. So, so basically, like people, introverts won't be uh, confident enough to share their ideas, mm. but they might have a fucking good idea. You know, that's the thing. So, so I, I attended a meeting where the Southern Territories um, business developer, I think it was from Uber, he was doing like a talk, and um, he was saying that at Uber they have a, they call it like a one pizza uh, meeting or something. So they only invite enough people that one pizza would fill would fill. And that keeps the, the teams yeah. short, snappy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll be me by myself. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's 100% like, what I said. I'd these are like, like two people. Yeah. Two it's two people pretty nice sitting in a room with no ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Eating this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got fed. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, uh, do you want to add to that topic before I change uh, it to what I learned? If you want, yeah. But I learned about a fucking hairy rhino, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking hairy rhino, dude. <laughs> The Sumatran rhinoceros. I don't know if you've ever heard of these things. Yeah. So it's an endangered species that is generally hairier. <laughs> they said hairier, but hairier than other rhinos. It's the closest living relative to the woolly to the rhino. Mammoth. Look at this motherfucker, Woolly mammoth, dude. isn't it? Look at that motherfucker, dude. Did they say generally it's hairier than other rhinos? <laughs> well, that's because other rhinos are fucking bald. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it said generally hairier. Generally hairier than other rhinos. But dude, look at that. That, oak, dude. that is horrendous. That it's looks fucking weird, Can man. I tell you? It looks, it like, looks a, like a dinosaur. It, no, it looks like a child's toy that was forgotten in a fucking <laughs> yeah. oven. Yeah. And it's then, the one that you like, buy and it's like 13 yeah. rand and you get 17 different animals. Yeah, and the eyes are different. And you know, eventually that family moves out and a new family moves in a horror dude, movie. Tell me starts. that isn't the face of a dinosaur, dude. <sighs> That's the face of a dinosaur. Why are its eyes humanoid? I know. It's weird, it's like, dude. They're like, 
So to be fair, I've heard of the the yeah. But he's got like, a, dude. He's going to flavor time with the back like that. Yeah, so look heard at the, the hair. The dude. That's flavor time here. The Sumatran um, rhinos, but never the hairy ones. To be oh, honest, oh dude. So that is. Bro, this um, like freaked me out it's a quite little scary, bit. Scary, yeah. And it's weird because there's like patches missing, but he's got like hairy yeah, legs. Yeah, it's like a mixture. Belly, it's a mixture between hairy and bald. Yeah, but more hairy than bald. Look, I don't think they all look like us. I think this is probably like the most extreme example of him. <laughs> but yeah. like this looks kind of fucking weird, dude. Do you think that's like the hairiest one or do you get hairier ones? I don't know. I haven't really <laughs> ranked them, dude. I didn't, I didn't go into a deep dive. I just saw this on Twitter and bookmarked it, dude. Fair <laughs> enough, like, yeah. Makes sense. This yeah. would be a good thing to chat about. Makes sense. what else, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I learned. Um, is that rhinos? Yeah, you get this hairy Sumatran, Sumatran rhinoceros. Yeah. Fucking weird, dude. What did you learn? Sure. I don't actually know, to be honest. So nothing. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this week has been pretty bland. <laughs> pretty boring week for me. I don't. And uh, no. I don't think I've. Uh, oh, I'm actually. I'm actually reading Killers of a Flower Moon, and I know that is a big now Martin Scorsese um, uh, film, oh. you know. Um, but I'm actually reading the book at the moment, and so I'm actually. Yeah. Well, I guess that's that's what I've learned as I'm learning about how the FBI started. I haven't like gotten finished the book i'm about a third maybe of the way through the book and um it's very interesting now and how those people lived back in the day and it's a, it's a true story about how those people lived back in the day and how oil i mean obviously everyone knows that oil is quite a rich uh, commodity and it's so um, funny and how these people were given these lands at birth and they were worth nothing and then until the oil was found the baby was like just signed. worth everything you know <laughs> Dude, it's it's so weird because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Like I've, so, I've seen I've yeah, seen this stuff Killers pop of the up, Flower Moon. but like the way that you've explained it, you're just like saying okay. pieces of it. So, Killers uh, of the Flower Moon <laughs> is a, a story about Native American history or American history, and essentially it's about the Osage or Osage County is yes. uh, and okay. and the Osage tribe um, of uh, Native Americans and how they sort of were. I don't actually know the rest of the story, but yeah, Albert will be able to explain, but it's also like how the FBI was established. As Dude, well. now everything's falling into place because that, um, the lead actress just got nom- nominated for a Golden Globe. Yes. Yes. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. First Native American to be. Yeah. Uh, so it was uh, so at the core of the film or the book or whatever you watching, reading is uh, the actual story is how the FBI came about how the FBI started because there was no FBI back in those days. Oh shit. So that's how it actually started. But the reason why it started was because of the Osage tribe and the, the people, the, the original like sort of people that were there on the lands and then Such a all these terrible like, fucking history, dude. Yeah. And how these people were murdered and things like that, you know? And then, so it's, it's, so the core of it is how the FBI was created. Um, but the way it was created and why it was created, is very hectic. I think it's such an interesting time for a movie like it to be released because I mean, like the book's probably been out for quite a while. So I but think like the book was released yeah, like four years ago. Oh, so this is pretty new. I think it's quite I interesting think. because like we're sitting in a time right now where everybody's learning about the birth of like everything and everybody's true intentions, mm. like organizations, countries, governments. Yeah. I'm not too sure when exactly the book was released. I know the film was released last year, but um, the author of the book actually got these stories from his grandparents or his parents um, because they were around those sort of times. And, you know, so he got a lot of these stories from his grandparents and then wrote this book about it and stuff like that. And he's a, I want to say editor or or writer for I think the New York Times. So oh, he's sure. released he's released a few books, um, and this was one of them. And I, I think it I think it said in the book that it was about I could be wrong, but it was about the stories that he got told from his grandparents. That's crazy. Have they like yeah. validated or verified those stories? I'm I'm not too sure. It does say that it is based on a true story, and all of this yeah. is based on true events. So I, I, I assume they've validated them to be able to say that you know what's, what, like what's crazy to me like going back to this whole like everybody's like starting to understand the true intentions between organizations or behind organizations yeah. countries all of those things like you don't even need verification anymore it's like yeah. 
if if this even if this was false, right? Yeah. And like the FBI was formed to displace Native Americans that were yeah. on like resource rich land and stuff. Yeah. Even if that was all made up, I'm yeah. telling you now, people would believe it, even if it was proven different like if it was proven differently, people yeah. would still be like, Oh yeah, but the FBI is fucking sketchy, dude. But that's yeah. the thing, like back you know what I mean? Day, it's yeah. like now everybody's like getting fucking sick and tired of it. Dude. But that's the thing. Like we were talking about it last night, actually I was speaking to Max about it. And um we were saying that like it's funny how in the nineteen sort of fifties, forties what the government said was sort of the Bible almost, you know, so people, general populations, I mean, there obviously were a lot of population or people like the sort of hippies and stuff like that, those movements that were against those. And it was often um, POC led groups as well, because they yeah. sort of had this first hand experience with the man is bad and why white people trust him. We don't know sort of thing. And it's understandable anyway. So with that, it's this crazy idea that back then everybody used to believe them. So what they said was like the truth. So area 51 was a real thing. And you know what, there's aliens and they protecting us from the aliens. Then if you look at like two years ago or no last year, when they were like, they stormed it. Oh, there's aliens, you know, everybody oh, yeah, when like, they actually announced that yeah, there's and aliens. The, and the FBI was like, yeah, the CIA was like, yes, we have aliens in the basement. And everybody's like, oh, fucking, shut the fuck up. We knew us alone, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. Just shut up. The We've cons- dealt us so yeah. much. If the console fuck world off. hanger, fuck off actually. Yeah, yeah, you know, will, they, like, will they just settle our taxes? Yeah, dude, exactly. Please, just destroy the money system. It's like, it's like that episode <laughs> of Rick and Morty when the dinosaurs, come and they destroy <laughs> the, the, the fucking money system and then everybody like has, does nothing no, for literally a nothing and they have nothing to want for or anything and they're like this is fucking boring <laughs> <laughs> this is shit let's go back to the old ways <laughs> what was that homie i don't know if we've spoken about it before but there was that guy that spoke about a resource based economy um, um instead of a financial economy i'm going to be honest and say i don't know I want to I find what this guy's name. Him. It was one of it was one of the Zeitgeist. <gasps> Do you remember this? Yes. <laughs> is that the sound? No, that isn't. That's the sound from Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> the Venus Project. Ooh, okay. Coming to my Venus flytrap. Okay, trap. okay. okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> The Venus Project. Okay, okay tell us. This okay. Well, basically, um, the the entire uh, Jacques Fresco. Okay, so the whole the idea, place. the whole idea. No, 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 there's no S at the end. Um, Jacques Fresco. Jacques. No. <laughs> Jacques Fresco. So the whole Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> the whole idea, right? Um, was okay. It says the Venus Project aims to eliminate scarcity by creating abundance through modern technologies that can meet the needs of all people. Okay. Motivation is a resource-based economy. So, what will motivate people? A Keep world, going, yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a world without wars, poverty, hunger, layoffs, loss of income. No so, the incentives and opportunities are enormous. So, it's basically like the real, the real monetary system is being able to contribute. Hugs. You know, like being able to do something. So, so this is so in my mind that simplified, yeah, as I understand it, it's like a bartering system. Yeah, yeah, so, but 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 you don't trade anything because everything's freely available. Yes, but so if you contribute to a global economy, there's no like even if you don't, you get the same as somebody that's contributing the most. So it's like socialism with extra steps yeah you know what i mean it's like it's it's quite weird but, but I think where does it all come from this is what i want to know so like it's okay so let, let's say let's say for example we yeah. we provide three different services the three of us here so say chemicals for yeah. me then you is say coaching yeah and albert photos and videos for everyone say if i say i want albert's photos and videos how does it work like does he just give it to me yeah well like if he's got time if he wants to. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's like the whole, I know it's fucking weird, dude. I don't so, know. Like this. <laughs> I know. It molds but, my but brain. This is, but this is but the thing. It it's a, like we're so ingrained in this idea that there has to be it. a value exchange. That's so, it. So I can't just go to Alvin and be like, cool, give me that. And then he naturally in any society would be like, okay, but what's in it for me? Yeah, yeah. Because it's this idea of that if there's give, there has to be take. So that's the thing. Like the whole motivation changes, right? 
like the whole motivation is completely different because you're not doing something to get anything in return. You're doing something because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, but what if you just get fucked over? Because like in this society, it still seems to me but like what the is pretty getting people, fucked over? pretty if people you, will still succeed because it's like this idea why have you got the same access to the same stuff? Because people will just be more willing to give you. No, but what if you, if you wanted something, you just get it? Like everybody just but gets how? what they what, want. But what if that person's like, no. Like if you like give me a Ferrari and Ferrari is like bro that guy no. gets put no he gets put back, back but into this world. But then everybody's going to be dude. driving Ferraris. That dude. guy gets put back into this world. So you saying is we create <laughs> two halves of the world, <laughs> the, the northern crust hemisphere and the, outer and crust. the southern hemisphere, <laughs> the top of the flat Earth and the bottom. Yes, of the flat Earth. yeah. The how how Pearl Harbor happened. <laughs> we'll be on the outside <laughs> of the dome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wait before we, before I digress to this Pearl Harbor joke. Okay, but okay, I I see that and I and I get it, but at the same time, to me, it just seems flawed fundamentally because humans innately are selfish. Yeah, and but I'll say that and people I can guarantee yeah. you in the comments or whatever they'll attack me for this but so, like socio, socio socially and um, sort of what do you call that study of human sciences not psychology uh, um, anthropology, yeah, anthropology. Yeah, anthropology. So anthrop- anthropologically it. you can look back at society and people are innately selfish the reason yeah, yeah. why you can teach a child to share but innately that person fights for themselves because mm. they've no survival they know people are trying to look after them as well, a baby they've got to get taught not to because their, their default is that they are is so that they're looking after the, themselves I think so the it's whole thing is selfish. like if we reverse if we had the opposite of greed right yes because that's what you're so if doing. If we were innately a selfless, selfless society, then that works. Then hundred percent, because yeah. you could say I could teach people skills for free, which is essentially what teachers do anyway. Um, you know, so sure. like me, like I'm willing to share. So like, like I've been thinking about this for a while. I want to share my training resources that I've created for our company. Share that online. Yeah. And on a place like LinkedIn or yeah. something like that and just say, here's training resources, use them if you don't want to. Mm. I mean, use them if you want to, don't if, if you, you don't. you think I'm hot, like rate me out of 10. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd give you one. <laughs> Damn, dude, one <laughs> of the best. <laughs> one of the best nuts of your life. <laughs> but yeah, uh, in, in my mind, I don't know if that would work. No, I don't know. In I your opinion, it, uh, do you think it could work? I, I think if we're completely opposite to how we are. Yes. Because I think we've been, I don't know, like, but that's the thing. It would have to be, it would have to be like from say, would, Neanderthal times. Yeah. Or that's where it would have to come in and start from then already because you can't start teaching people now. It'll take well, years and years. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, if it was, if it was enacted now, we wouldn't see the benefits. No, we wouldn't, wouldn't be thousands be able to, of years. Yeah. So. But that's what we've I got say. to unlearn greed and self, yeah. self That's what I say. If it was taught, like, sort of in the Neanderthal times. Yeah. Then maybe now the society well, would be like this that is way. a thing, right? Because there are tribes that don't have currency. No, yeah, there's They're, definitely places within, that don't like, have currency. There is, there is like a trade off, and somebody will be like, but they also don't have playstations. <laughs> you <laughs> see, this, <laughs> is, this is what I'm saying. This is what yeah. I'm saying is yeah. it, it's sort of your level of. But exposure talking, to the outside world yeah, yeah. determines the amount of monetary dependence. So like Amazonian tribes, like there's some islands in the Amazon where those people have not seen a light skinned person yeah, sort yeah. of thing. If you rock up there, those looks will fucking kill you. Yeah, straight there's straight up. I mean, there's stories of that. Exactly. There's stories of that. And, yeah. and planes being hit by spears flying exactly. over. Yeah. Because you're a danger. And I mean, yeah. it's the thing. It's just they're not exposed. So they I don't, don't fucking blame them, dude. Yeah. I'd do that to a white dude now. <laughs> 100%, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if they're flying so low overhead. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so this is the thing. It's like an innate survival. And like you were talking about the Neanderthals. Neanderthals were the worst because they were so selfish. Like, like they were literally like, cool, I'll kill my child to eat it so that i can survive and they yeah. essentially went yeah. crazy because of cannibalism yeah the cannibalism literally they developed disease yeah. from yeah. cannibalism so but i guess that's, that's to survive Learn because facts, there was nothing dude. really no but that is <laughs> not to survive you. right they yeah. didn't you don't see them trading back in those days with currency there was no currency back in those days there, but that there, was all there was survival. classism that was rand, all <laughs> that was that was that was all survival so they yeah, had yeah. to do that because of survival okay. but now think about it if they just, I mean, if you if they carried on from there without the the currency sort of factor, today's life you can survive better than Neanderthal times because we've learned how to speak, we've learned how to hunt better, and we've learned how to all these things farm yeah. and grow all these crops and all these things better than Neanderthals. Yeah. So then, take away the trading section of it. I mean, you know, like, but I mean, we come back to like how money and stuff was invented. 
you know, and like all of these yeah. things that were, that it, it's, it's crazy because all of that, it, it was opportunism and it was all selfishness, you know, like yeah. it was like, yeah, sure. I can benefit from this, yeah. you know? Um, and that's, that's the whole thing is like the currency is actually greed. Yeah. 100%. That's it at the yeah. end of the day. If there was no greed, there'd be no need for anything because everybody would just help each other out. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you had like yeah. self sustainable like communities, we yeah, still got those. I mean, there's countries that are in debt and you're like, in debt to who? The fucking world? Yeah. You know, but, like we live here. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, how are you in who debt to who do you owe money yeah. to? You know, you're a whole country. Yeah. It's like, if I think um, of like landlords, no, no, <laughs> no <so laughs> they like, do nothing and make money off of people's need to live. No, but there's communities right now yeah, that, like, are, that are starting to exclude government from like their well, reliance uh, factor, right? There's like, like in Nasna, there's Nutsi Forest. Nutsi yeah. Forest, I mean, those like they, but like everybody's like, oh, there's like a bunch of mullocks that just go fucking earth stomp and yeah. chow shrooms, you know? Fucking and dope, dude. Yeah, yeah, if that's what they do, that's what they do, and that's great. But like the, the government sort of knows about them but they also don't like try to police them they're like oh, whatever they they're not harming anybody it's not like the heels of eyes well this uh, so what i'm talking about is like the government is becoming i don't know i feel like the government has to prove where their place is in our world oh yeah we got homeless homies oh, yeah. like that are fixing the potholes that direct traffic yeah. that homeless got, homies that in england are being fucking fined for two and a half thousand fucking pounds because they're sleeping on the street because yes. they're homeless. Oh, and you people poor, getting fined because fine they're helping you. the homeless. Yes, so how fucking stupid! That, that for me, and that's why that's why that system of merit, yeah, will never, yeah, no, never, too far gone. never work. We're too exactly. far gone. We're too far gone. The earth has to do like a you know like you do with a fever where you sweat it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The earth just needs to sweat humans out. Start again, and Happy. then just somehow, sweet baby Jesus must that's just come here and be like solar death, dude. You guys <laughs> need to be nice to each other. Yeah. Okay. If that alien's not like got the anything last time to say, I told dude. your grandpa. Not <laughs> like I didn't tell your grandpa last. I told your grandpa last time to be nice to each other, but you need to be nicer to yeah. each other. Okay. Yeah. If that yeah. alien's got anything good to say, like now's yeah. the time to speak up and be like, "You are assholes." Like, yeah. Everybody exactly. just playing us. Otherwise, yeah. Just do I'm like, a ray gun your you know that like yeah that like men in black thing where it's like a, like a <laughs> and then like wipes the memory. <laughs> yeah. Like they just need to oh, like, do that, like a giant one like they did in the movie with. The Statue of Liberty. Yes. Just wipe the whole world's fucking memory and just be like, yokes need to be nice to each other. There's no such thing as money. Uh -huh. The paper in your wallet is useless. Just and you're all the fucking burning. same. Yeah, and you're, you're all the, the same. same. Exactly. <laughs> you want to go fucking... Lift oh, you look different? Okay, that's fine. But you're just all the same. Go lift each other's spirits and have fun, man. Oh, dude. Yes, just imagine a world where everybody is just nice, dude. Oh. Oh, but and I was in there fucking huge foreheads and call me a rat on Twitter, dude. <laughs> you are Chinese, you are making a noise like a rat. Uh, yappa, yappa, yappa. Do you know what's, what's so funny about that oak as well is that he went to every single one of my socials. Yeah. Like he commented on everything. But he's how, like, how oh, you don't even got to speak. Be. Yeah, that's why I said. Yeah. I was like, dude, you're like my biggest fan. Yeah. Like the people that can't regularly like watch my content. I don't, don't even go to every platform. Go to all. I didn't even yeah, know I you. I was lying about yeah. everything. I just wanted to find this out from you, dude. Yeah. This is straight from his mouth. That he Sorry. doesn't even follow me on any of no, it. Like, I, I get you now, dude. I don't. Motherfucker, dude. Yeah. I didn't even know you had an OnlyFans, dude. My bad. <laughs> it's an OnlyFan. <laughs> One I'm subscriber, dude. I'm fan of all of you. Dude, business idea. Just thought about it right now. New, <gasps> a new sign platform. happy birthday messages. No, no, that's already right. been done. So listen, you have an OnlyFan account. OnlyFan. Yes. And every single month, it's the first come, first, first serve basis. First serve, first come basis. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. First serve, first come but it's like but you have to bid dollars yeah you bid for the month i was just dude. about to say how much would you charge oh. for the month you bid for the month you bid against and then all on that people. last day whoever's got the highest bid they get it dude yes yeah, so your content must be immaculate sure. for people to only bid on that. no but think about the ex like exclusivity sold because it's only if I, and you can brag about it being only, that i'm only the only fan. person that gets to Listen, see this, i'm the dude. only yeah. fan yeah, yeah. If, you're the favorite, favorite, if anybody's you, listening to this right now and you yeah. do this thing, I'm not angry. Royalties. But just speak Royalties. to me. Yeah. Like yeah. I I promise you that I can expand the idea. At more. least give us a little <laughs> bit of a at least give us some commission. Royalties. I, I guarantee you by the end of, like close the business tomorrow, I'll have a full business plan for this. So if anybody's listening, yeah, hit me up, dude. I'm not gonna build it, but I'm more than happy to that help is you. Chris C H R I S <laughs> Bamflavsky. You know how to spell that. <laughs> C-U-M. And I'm out. <laughs> Mic drop. I'll put it down somewhere. But <laughs> no, but it does. Exclusivity really sells. It does sell. I'm the only person. <laughs>
<laughs> no, it does. Because like I saw that thing about not, I don't know who the sort of OnlyFans model was, but her biggest subscriber, or uh, he was quite large as well. But um, <laughs> We can say this with pain, fat according to yeah, the guy yeah, on Twitter. I mean, I uh, weigh 140 odd, so come at me. Rather don't, please. I'm a fat diabetes, yeah, big foot yeah. guy that needs to walk. I don't know what that was saying, yeah. dude. Don't he make, said a lot of describer words, dude. Describer words. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted Adjectives. to. I wanted, yeah. <laughs> I wanted, no, 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 I wanted, He's been I wanted to dumb it down for him. So I wanted to be yeah. like, oh, that's a lot of that's a lot words. of big words for you, <laughs> little boy. Um, yeah, please don't, please don't make me chase you because I'm fat. So anyway, uh, so yeah. So no, he, don't poke me, I'm full of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he paid $64,000. Oh, so to stand next to her. To stand next to her and have a photo with her. And I'm mm. like, in, porn's free. Guys, porn's free. But, on but this internet. is what I don't get. It's like, if, if I mean, everybody's got their vice. Everybody's, that guy probably doesn't smoke marijuana. He probably doesn't drink. <laughs> he he probably doesn't smoke cigarettes either. So his vice is the ability to put $64,000 towards somebody's Jesus. salary. No, but this is what I keep on saying, dude. Why do, why do fucking men... Go yes. on to like a Twitch channel and yes. sexually harass somebody. But also be like, oh, where's your only fans? Dude, go to Google mm. and type boobs. Yeah. And then look at <laughs> boobs <laughs> and then come back and watch somebody playing games. Dude. Yeah. Like there's so also, many boobs. You don't have to do it there's in There's so many meter. boobs, dude. You can do it in a normal browser. You're an adult. If you watch porn, Bro, it's that's crazy. fucking great. Like dude, it's 100%. Crazy. There's so much boobs. It's there's so much feet. Have you, ever been, feet, have you feet, ever been yeah. asked for foot pictures, dude? No, dude. I've got hobbit feet. Nobody wants to see. Unless, hey, if you if you into <laughs> hobbit fetish, you. send me send me a DM. I'll, I'll get you ones. I've been photos. asked once. Once no, for you feet. Laugh. For yeah, your yeah. fucking Sasquatch feet. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, feet. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You, you're a dick. Um, let me find this. this um, I've also never been asked for feet pics. <laughs> I've only <laughs> ever been asked once, dude. That's and um, wow, were they? How much were yeah, they going to? How much were they going to pay? I don't know. So, dude, I was kind of joking. So this guy was like, "Do you have big feet?" So I was like, "The biggest." <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Firstly? I don't know. Just a random guy that yeah, just no, I out of the blue. Um, no, okay, no, 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 fair enough. You don't have to say, but just <laughs> yeah. like you don't know them. No, no, You're no. Just no out we of don't follow each other. They just um, they just messaged you. Yeah. Okay. But then he was Fair like, enough. I've been looking for someone. Chris is lying. It's actually Rishka, Rishka's alt account. <laughs> we see you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's like, I've been looking for somebody with big feet who I can pay regularly, lol, or mm. buy a PS5. It's a weird ass kink, I know. Mm. So, so, so is he looking for big feet that can buy a PS5? <laughs> I was about to say, that's a, I mean, so that's quite a talent to... Take yeah. your feet and buy a PS5. Yeah, for it's them. pretty. I ain't never seen nobody cool. swap a card with their toes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's quite easy to do. But also, why not the small feet buying a PS5? Yeah. No, why no, no, no dude. I've got the size feet. 12 yeah. and a half, 13 is my boy. Feet, feminine step. step. Sounds like a lady when he's walking in the room. He's cut. <laughs> um, so I was like, no, nah, man. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, man. We don't kink shame. You do, you do. As long as you aren't harming anyone. I appreciate the offer, but this isn't for me. And he's like, cool. So like I don't want to king shame. That, that was wholesome. That, that, that was yeah. that was yeah. really nice. Yeah. yeah. But At I least you didn't get like an unsolicited dick pic and be like, I'd love to see your toes wrapped around this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would have gotten an unsolicited fucking feet pic. Yeah. No, dude, he wants the feet pic. <laughs> no. I should have just sent yeah. him one anyways and be well, like, I mean, bro, this one's in the house. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, this you, one's you, in the house. Yeah, yeah. You yes. to, you squeeze the flipping rubber chicken or whatever <laughs> you need. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the house. You can buy me a PS5 if you want, but it's on the house. I mean, what's the difference between pink and purple? Right? Your grip. Hectic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, listen. <laughs> I, if somebody DM'd me now and was like, but I'd 100% sold. It's if I, I for, almost went in a message, I got back five, and be like, holy shit, dude. For PS5. I only realize now how important this is. You still want them feet pics. When did he send it to me? Dude, send it now. No, dude. Because you can take photos of my feet as long as we share the PlayStation. That was on the 10th of May 2022. Okay, but just send him a message and be like, okay, look, and hey I, man, I'm, I'm still not, how it's are you? still not for me. <laughs> hey, hey, it's man, still how not for doing? me. Just wanted right. to check in. He has a friend of mine. Oh, he's willing to. He, mm. He's got 11. They're a bit smaller. Yeah. And they're sweaty. And, okay. Oh, wow. they do crust it. Those, those toes do crust it. They're very <laughs> veiny. Um, they're a bit smaller with a size 11. 
but he's willing to send you pictures <laughs> if you want. If you still, I know it's a two, almost two years later, <laughs> but if you're still keen. <laughs> no, dude, a shame. I, dude, I thought he was joking at first, and then when he sent that message, and then he's like, I know it's a weird kink. I was and like, I shame, man. It's like it's actually being genuine. Yeah, and like, no, I, it shame. was actually exactly, really nice. Yeah, he was no, being shame. honest. Like, he was like, no, he was, being, not, he was actually being super sweet shaming, about it. I'm not shaming at all. I'm like yeah. keen. If he's keen, <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, I mean, it's like at the end of the day, what does it harm you to it just say happen. no? And if it's not for you, then fucking yeah, yeah. fine. You don't have to berate somebody. Though it's like, who was that exotic dancer that also was a streamer? I cannot uh, remember her name. Uh, now. The South African. Yes, her name was. Um, she also had her own business, though. She she started uh, her own business. It's I think oh. it was managing. I can't remember now what it was. Anyway. She always said, like, her biggest thing was, like, she's, like, everybody, like, slates feet guys, but they are apparently the nicest sort yeah, of, apparently. like, sort of sweetest guys, you know. And sure, if, if, like, she, she was saying, like, she's never had issues with sort of, like, dudes with that kink, you know. So I suppose, uh, yeah, it's whatever floats your boat, I guess, at the end of the day. But, yeah, I mean, there's no need to berate somebody for it. No, no, dude. I think kink shame That's is exactly it. I mean, like, dude. I mean. Everybody has something that, you know, turns them Paul on Princess. to a certain, and it was Paul Princess, yeah. certain level, you know, everybody's got something. Oh, yeah, everybody's and, all um, weird, dude. That's it. If if some are a bit different yeah. to others, then that's all it is. So, so I as mean, long as you're not doing any harm yeah, to exactly. anybody, then it's all right, dude. Why exactly. is anybody angry dude, why, about it? Exactly, yeah. You yeah. don't have to say, like, nobody has to be angry about it. You but know? That, that that's like the fundamentals of what you're saying right now is like, what well, it's, why the fuck do people get upset about anything? That's the thing. Exactly. <laughs> why? I don't do you, understand. If it's not it harming does you, not or if it's you. not affecting yeah. you in any way, why are you getting so upset it's about it? It's so fucking like, weird. There dude. is no need to get upset. Do you know why? It. Because their lives are so fucking boring, dude. Yeah. Like it's their yeah. lives are literally so vanilla that they have to add the sauce. That's dude. the thing. Yeah. If it's if it's not affecting you or upsetting you directly in any way, don't say anything. You don't no. need to. Why? Why comment on it? Yeah, but people people love uh, a little bit of spice. I, I actually think it's just because people. Spice. So the whole idea, <clears throat> I saw something the other day. It was like if you understood that ninety percent of human interaction is projection, you'd be a lot sort of common in interactions. And I think that 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 translates very well in a situation like this because I think it's a lack of confidence. So people that slate. Others have this lack of confidence in themselves in order to like that they can't live that freely mm. or accept themselves that much that they're able to sort of like post on the internet or like I'll oh, send a stranger a random message on the internet and be like, hey, you know. It's a whole pulling um, down instead of pushing up. Exactly. Or, you yeah. know, like uh, people pull down other people so they're on the exactly. same level instead of rising up. Exactly. Yeah. So, so instead of being like, jealous, sure, I can't wait to be like that. Or how did mm. you do that? I'd love to get to that same level. Yeah. Instead, it's, like, it's this idea I deserve of, that instead. Exactly. So I'll pull instead. you down to my level. Yeah. Instead, not as well. Yeah. So so that's the thing. So there's a difference between instead and as well in terms of that. As well implies that you working. <laughs> Yes, this is you fucking. Uh, you almost turned your head around like an owl there, dude. <laughs> I was a bit worried. I almost got up a little owl bit. I was a bit worried, eh? Yeah, I was about to hold your head, but your body would have spun. <laughs> That's a big sneeze, dude. <laughs> Sorry, my dentist said I'm not allowed to hold my sneezes in, otherwise I could rupture the bone in my sinus. You lie. Because it's apparently very thin. Is, <laughs> it, is, is that <laughs> legit, dude? Genuine. He says that the, the thin bone... Ass fucking, thin, thin ass, ass, ass bum ass fucking yeah, don't sinus. don't have a bum ass. You can't say that. <laughs> okay, you take it back. <laughs> you, you take, take it back, back dude. I can't, dude. You're going to need throw, to. I can't even throw it throw back, dude. It back, dude. <laughs> I'll take that back, dude. <laughs> you see, now, you, now you're pulling me down. Instead of trying to I'll take push back, me up, dude. dude. Hey, gross, dude. <laughs> 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 uh, Double so hooks. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so it's that idea of like, uh, instead of supporting people, people just fucking pull each other down. It's weird, yeah. dude. And it's, it's weird, and the the weirdest thing about it is that they assume that you're doing the mm. same thing. Yeah, yeah. Because and, and it's, it's normal for them. It needs to be normal for everybody yeah. else. They're like, because they've got a bad intentions, they assume yeah. that your your intentions have to be bad as well. Again, intention. That's the important part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you like go onto like fucking Reddit, let's say mini painting Reddit or Instagram, whatever, and I post something like one of the minis that I've painted. Sure, that looks like a. Can I also have? Just like, just, hey, just playing for himself. Is that called cool? Yeah. 
Cola vanilla. Oh, vanilla Thanks, cola. Woolworths. Actually, yeah, shout out to Woolworths for making fucking sugar free vanilla cola. What was it, sugar free as well? Sugar free, dude. Yeah, Brittany nearly fucking had a wetty there in the fucking <laughs> Woolworths. Damn it. Because she saw it. She was like, yeah. That's a completely different yeah, meaning, she dude. Was a, almost had a frothy there. Still. <laughs> dude, can I just, like, digress quickly from this? Okay. No, no, no. You finish your subject. I want to go into Basically, vanilla cocoa. Stop being a cunt. Yeah, yeah. Straight up, stopping yeah. and seeing you next Tuesday, yeah. and just fucking help each other out. Like, even if you've got something to critique, be like, "Shit, that was really impressive," but maybe try this next time. You it's know? like the biggest. So, so it's like a compliment yeah. sandwich or a critique sandwich. Compliment, negative compliment, sort of yeah. thing. So you highlight the compliments because nobody gets everything right in the first time, but there yeah. are things that they get right. So reinforce the positive, highlight a negative that they need to focus on in a nice way, and mm. then. Highlight a positive again. So I was on a, just don't be a coward. I was on Chloe's podcast what? yesterday. Really? I think she's going to release it probably before this comes out. It's called Not My House. Oh, really? So, yeah, because she's staying with the mum out in the UK. Yeah, hey, Albert, where's your house? Hey, where's your home, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that we're talking about mm. that um, are very similar there. But um, online, I've learned a couple of communication skills that just like yeah. help me to have a conversation. Because the problem is like, when you meet emotion with emotion, it just amplifies, right? And also tone does not convey no, through no, no. text. That's the problem. Yeah. It's your tone. Like your tone that you write, it doesn't matter. It's the tone of the reader. Exactly. That's how you intended it. But yeah. the tone of the reader is how they interpret yeah. it. So you have to make it so fucking obvious. Dude. Yeah. It has to be like so tight. And even if you then in brackets have to put sarcastic just to make sure that your meaning isn't misconstrued or, or misheard or it doesn't land well. That's what you have to do. Like the perfect example of this is whenever you play Rocket League <laughs> and you do anything, like yeah. when if the other team says something, you read in a sarcastic tone, yeah. oh, nice one, great pass, dude, mm. oh, what a save. You know, yeah. like that's, it, it's all and me reading. They, they, mean read it, they mean it well. They probably mean it well. Yeah. yeah. And then you're reading it and you're like, sarcastic. okay, listen here, you dick. Yeah. You know? So like, like Sorry, when when like opponents score against us, I'm like, yeah. nice shot because it was a fucking mm. good shot. And if they say thanks, or then it's cool, then you know you're on the same like mindset. But if they're like, what a save, then you're like, well, this guy's actually just a puss, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. So. But um, there's a couple of communication techniques that I've I've learned um, just so that I can actually have a conversation with somebody. Yeah. Like, I don't like arguing with people. Mm -hmm. I like to have a debate. I don't mind losing a debate yeah, because but my knowledge it becomes improves their knowledge. Yeah. Exactly. So I try to kill off emotion. So the first thing I do is I do something called cold collecting. Yes. Which is I basically go to their profile mm. and I just get to know who I'm speaking to. Yeah. If all of their posts are them just talking shit, yeah. then I know then that this know. is not a conversation it's I want to have. So you just leave it. Mm. If it's somebody that's actively engaging in conver like conversations, yeah. but maybe then they not don't, in a trolly way. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, you, you can tell a lot by looking through their likes, mm. and looking through their replies before you start. And their retweets as well. Very yeah, yeah. important who they retweet. So you just have a, a yeah. I mean, if I see like <laughs> Andrew Tate, oh yeah, like what, anywhere there, then I go cool. I'm yeah. just not going to speak to this person. Yeah. I probably need to block them to be yeah. honest. And like it's just because I want to clean my timeline, and I went. Twitter to also know yeah. like what kind of content I want to like what I'm what kind of content I'm seeing. So like um that's a that's a very big part as well. Because yeah. like as soon as you open somebody's profile, you're sending the algorithms a message saying, This person is keeping me on your platform. Show me more content yes. from this person and people yeah. like this person. Yeah. So if if I don't want to see that, I mute the person or I block the person. Exactly. And like that's not me going home, walking away from a conversation. Yeah. I'm just going. You're I don't curating, want. To, I, curating, I'm curating your my feed. Yeah, that's it. Really important. Um, the second thing I do as well is acknowledge before respond. So whenever I speak to somebody, if they raise a really good point, I go, "That's really good. That makes sense. Like, yeah. Thank you for explaining that. Yes. I didn't understand that perspective. Yeah. This is my question though. Yeah. Like, let's go with that. But what happens if this happens? Like, this is the angle I'm coming from. And that's so like, yeah, sorry. No, no, go, go. I was going to say that's extremely important. That's like one of the first things they teach you in education because the thing is, if you don't validate that person's opinion, they get very emotional. Yeah. Firstly, if you do not acknowledge that you've read what they said, then they assume that you're ignoring them and that you actually aren't willing to take part or listen to what they are saying. So it's very important to acknowledge what someone's saying. Yeah, even, even if it's wrong, you can say, I don't agree with that. Yeah, yeah, even if it's wrong, like if you want to be a good conversationalist, you can let somebody unravel it until yeah. they realize that it's bad. So 100%. you can just be like, 
can you just explain that a little bit more? I just want to understand like where that comes from, where, yeah. where you think it's applicable. Yeah. Like where and most of the time they just feel like idiots at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, but I mean, like that's not the goal, anyways. No, know? no, like, no. It goal is to have, like, like if a it's a bad take, if it's a bad, but take. if it's a bad take, like somebody's going to figure it out yeah. and probably tell you that you're a fat man with diabetes and yeah. you grow hair like a monk. That's, that's really <laughs> impressive, actually. You should start a band. <laughs> Called me a bald headed egg, a, well, a bald egg headed fuck or some shit. And I was like, okay, that's okay, quite I'm an intense, Max. That's quite an intense name for your band. <laughs> bald headed fuck. Bald egg headed fuck. Yeah, that's I mean. I mean I mean, you, you'd get a lot of. Listeners. I wouldn't be able to play kids' parties then. You uh, might. I mean, no, it doesn't mean your music has to be that intense. Oh, dude! China. Damn, dude! That's Maybe what the moms would say as soon as I say. you can't play it. As soon as I say something, the, the parents would be like, oh, dude. Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. I was going to say you could call yourself the bald, uh, egg-headed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then also your music doesn't. Could, your name doesn't have to reflect the music you play. But how do so. you write that, dude? With the asterisks, if and it asterisk asterisk <laughs> asterisk K. Hey, you see? Yeah, I don't know, dude. But being a good conversationalist is <laughs> <laughs> being a good conversationalist is actually saying the least in a conversation. Yeah, hundred percent, because it shows you're listening more. If, it's in, in it's like sense. I think it's like chapter two of how to make friends and influence people. Like where they talk about, I think it is Malcolm, like, Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a, the second. Yeah, so chapter. isn't he the one who wrote your the Uncut Gems Uncut one? Uncut Gems, no, 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 it's Adam Grant. Adam Grant, okay, yeah. There's more than one people, a person. That <laughs> more than one There's people. More than, uh, oh, fuck it, dude. I'm not even going to insult you anymore, dude. There's more than one people that write <laughs> a book. Okay. <laughs> Where for me, you puss. <laughs> Charlotte Ponzi, dude. Charlotte Coffey. Sour boner. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. No, so, like, the, uh, <laughs> the second chapter there, I think, I think it's the second chapter where they talk about if you want to be a good conversationalist, you let the other person speak the most. Yeah. So it's like literally acting like a five-year-old when they say something. Why? Yeah, <laughs> literally. But Why? this is the whole thing when I do, when I host panels and stuff like Comic-Con and, or yeah. and like Africa Games Week, my, my whole thing is asking questions I genuinely want to know. But, but it's also, it's, it's fucking, digging into things. It's and, interesting questions, yeah. firstly. Yeah. Secondly, at the end of the day, they're going to say, this person was great. Why? Because they wanted to find out about me, mm. you know? So they're interested in what I do and w they wanted me to expose myself or, or convey or advertise for myself. Because that's what those things essentially yeah. are for. So that you can either teach people. But nobody at the end of the day goes, sure, I want to be like that fucking MC that spoke the most, you know, no. in an interview. You'd rather no. be like, sure, that guy got the most information or the most useful information out of those people. Well, I mean, your job as an MC is to keep things flowing. Yeah. Your job as a panel host is to ask questions that the crowd wants to hear the answers. Yeah. Like that's yeah. it. You're just the voice for the people in the crowd. You're so not, I guess an you're MC, not, you're not the main person. Yeah, I, I guess like an MC, you wrong. are the main person. I guess not and really to an extent. You, you're the conductor. Yeah. You're not holding yeah. any of the instruments. <coughs> no, you know, you're enough. not making yeah. the music. You're just guiding the show. Yeah. So like that's uh, you, you're not you're not the main person. I think a lot of people yeah. think they are. Fair enough. Yeah. But like you might be on stage the most, but people shouldn't be aware of that. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It should just feel like this show, like it's going person, from panel. Yes, should yeah. feel like it's going from panel to panel, from like act to act, like really, really smooth. Like you know? something, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the hardest thing about emceeing. Yeah. Keeping it's, the flow. It's a very um. Okay, we beautiful, do beautiful, beautiful bottle. We do our whiskey. Oh shit, dude! I don't want that now. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy! It's all mine now. Oh. That this is, is the best one. See, so a little far. bit of wee came out for sure. Aye. Aye, puppy. That was crazy, dude. That is bubble like, started oh before it even God, started that's, pouring, that's, dude. That, oh. Dude, I feel my eardrums oh. are going in and out, dude. 
Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I got that wee shiver, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, I speak about the wee shiver a lot. and You like, do. It's concerning, actually. People don't understand what, like, what I'm talking about. You should get other shivers, dude. rather. It's like shiver me timbers or something. But, dude, don't you think it's like <laughs> just the greatest... <laughs> Don't you think it's the greatest thing when you go to the bathroom and you see an ogre, like as you walk in, and the guy teaches you, Ronald just shakes. And yeah, you're like, yeah. That, that guy had dunk. a good piss, dude. Yeah, it shakes. That the- guy had a good piss. Yeah. Hey, my dude. Hey, my dude. Well done, dude. You can't well just done. go in and dap somebody while they're <laughs> you can, taking a piss. Like, dude. Hi, dude. Yeah. What's up, bro? My man. Hey, yo. <laughs> come back and dab me dude <laughs> okay so coming uh, sorry this is a government warning according to the surgeon general you haven't warning. even told anybody what the whiskey is yet <laughs> no, but you're literally read the, reading the fucking warning I just want warning, to read dude. the warning first it says according to the surgeon general women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because the risk of sorry, birth defects Okay. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car, operate machinery, and may cause health problems. Like if you walk in the road, you might get hit by a car. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is the legendary Silky Irish whiskey, and that's Silky S I L K I. Does anybody know what a Silky is? E, e at the end. I E. Sorry. Okay. Sick. <laughs> um, is it like it's like actually E Y. You fuck whiskey with an E Y. Anyway. No, you said S I L K I. S I L K I E. Okay. Do you know what a silky? You fucking chirps me about whiskey. Okay, do you know what a silky is? You yeah, it's like fuck. a little silk women Afrikaans. <laughs> a cake. A silky cake for my silkies. <laughs> it's actually just a small person that's sad. A silky. Oh, oh silky. That's a silky. <laughs> so a silky is actually a mermaid. It's an, a mermaid in Irish and Scottish. Why don't um, they just call it a mermaid, dude? Because, look, yes, your are so fucking dumb. On the bottle, there's a fucking mermaid, and Yerks is like, oh, is well, you person. say we're dumb, but have you seen fucking, like, perfume ads, bro? Yes. You tell me you know what the fuck's going on. They could have put Mango. anything on this, dude. Mango Beach, woman running. Wow. Be the steak pie. Be the difference. <laughs> Be yourself. She is the difference. She is the sand. She is nature. She is le gomme. <laughs> le roche posay. <laughs> anyway, so the sulky is uh, the Donegal, uh, sorry, so the sulkies of the Donegal coast are the mythical shapeshifters who shed their seal skin coats. Oh God, that's, that's horrible. What it says. Oh, become, that is fucking gross. To become irresistibly <laughs> enchanting sea Jesus. maidens. But if you see them do that, hair, dude. Deep soulful <laughs> eyes and beautiful voices. Anyway, beer goggles. <laughs> imagine, so that's what they're saying. Imagine you see a chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then saying, and then it's like standing there on a rock, like all the naked, like. Oh, I'd be like, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right, wood, wood, <laughs> yeah. wood. wood. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable <laughs> member, wood. <laughs> Our silky comes ashore at the Silver Strand in the Ma- Melon Big. She dances in the soft moonlight, unaware of the handsome young fisherman watching her. Their eyes meet. Their love is set. Alcoholism ensues. The legendary silky Irish whiskey is inspired by these legends and is made the savored uh, is made made to be savored with friends over a good story. Fresh green apple gives way to elegant malt notes, gentle spices, and the warming stem ginger to finish. Non chill filtered for a richer character. Enjoy neat or on the rocks or mix with ginger ale for a silky rua. 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 Dude, I can't believe it went perfume ad halfway through the description. Really did, did, hey? All of a sudden, that fishermen, was so much better. And, 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 uh, that was really good. So fishermen. far, so far, between this and the the Irish, the, the what's that first one that we had? The one with the, like, the map of Ireland on the bottle? Uh, black and white. No. <laughs> West Cork. <laughs> West Cork, you fucking savage. Also, black and white is Scottish because there's a Scottish terriers on the front. Just oh, so you know. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Etymology, oh. please. <laughs> I'm a whiskey snob. I know my origins of black and white. <laughs> anyway, a signature blend of double and triple distilled malts with soft grain whiskey and a hint of peated malt inspired by the legends of the Donegal coast. Okay. okay. So give it a whiff. I'm going to open up the whiskey app so long. Anyway, for those of you that Do enjoy you know your whiskey, the whiskey app is also a very nice way of uh, checking your whiskey, tasting notes, logging your I get chocolate, dude. Chocolates. I mean... Mm. With yeah, a slight like peatiness. Like, yeah, but like, uh, I'm going to say stone fruit <sighs> again because yeah, it's, it's like. Fermented. I really get chocolate. So you obviously weren't listening because fresh green apples. 
No. Uh, I, I get the green. Get fresh. So, <laughs> so, fermented. So, so green apple, yeah, I do sure? get Also, like grapes. It's not a little bit like urine, dude. Fresh. It's not like it's not like I walked to the wrong part and like and, and like a drive-in, dude. And like I went to go get a slushy at the drive-in, and I walked through like a vacant part, and there smell was it, just smell pee. it with your with your mouth open. You get a lot more. <laughs> you get a lot more PT notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, you know you are like a, you do open your mouth. You to fucking smile. mouth breathers. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that a cognac? You do that with cognac, right? I don't care what the fuck you do it with, but if you look at me like that again, <laughs> Christ, I'm kicking you out the house. house. <laughs> you up, dude. <laughs> uh, anyway. I already get chocolate and like tobacco. I don't know. Like, yeah, the tobacco that I get, that, yeah. that I can definitely get. So this is the legendary. Mid- is this the what Midnight else? Silky? No, the legendary Silky. A pr- uh, yeah, but which one? So there's the legendary silky blended Irish whiskey, the legendary dark silky Irish whiskey, the legendary silky Irish whiskey, 46%. This is 46. So I'm going to take it as this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bottle's the same. Cool. 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 Add that to my collection. Sure. This is a 4.1 rating. Oh shit. Out of 10. Out of 10. No, out of five. You fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. There's literally two things that you can smell here on the, on the nose. Is that it? Two. Apples. Apples no. and tobacco. Uh, What's a common one that we've had? Stone fruit. No. Alcohol. Whiskey. Honey. No. Oh, yeah. Whiskey, you fucking <laughs> simpleton. <laughs> yes. It okay. smells a bit like whiskey. <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to love this. Yo, this apple, one and, also, uh, apple and honey. I can apple smell and it honey. now, yeah, dude. But you, yeah, 100%. You but do I get really that. got black chocolate. It actually smells, smells like, like, smelted. like oats with apple and honey on. That like multi sweetness comes Bro, through. Quite just nice. le- I don't know why, but I think like my left nostril was closed up until the, my last sniff, dude. Because <laughs> it's the first time I, like, I felt it, start twitching, dude. <laughs> yeah, like I feel it like deep in the back of my left eye, dude. <laughs> Stop smelling your right, fucking eye, dude. dude. <laughs> uh, mild headache. <laughs> two two okay. corporals, dude. Tasting notes. What are you guys getting? Gonna try. There's one in here that we haven't had yet. One, there's one flavor that we haven't had yet. yet. That is so smooth, dude. Oh, it's nice. That is Holy a shit, fucking that is nice good, whiskey, dude. dude. That is so good. Wow. Hey? That is really nice. Like, I know Abby um, doesn't enjoy the PT stuff too much, but that is a good whiskey. It is really yeah, nice. But also, I didn't expect it to go down so smoothly. Yeah, like, yeah, I like there's like it was nothing after it. A little bit of a hit and, you know, things like that. But now, this one doesn't have was, fingernails, dude. Yeah, that It was, goes down like just like sliding down. Yeah. Through. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Jeez, like Albi. Uh-uh, uh-uh. uh-uh. <laughs> that, was, that was you, Bob Flavsky. Um, why? Chris. Was, <laughs> talking about Cinderella, why was she so bad at basketball? Because her coach was a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite, dude. I love it so much. Okay, back to the not on holiday till they took every single day until fucking somebody laughed. Okay. <laughs> every fucking day. Did nobody laugh at that? That no, is the funny thing. Not even Riley. I was like, hey, Riley. Hi, <laughs> Riley, uh, Riley. Just young, dude. Just Excuse young. me, I laughed. Yeah. But nobody else would. So then Oscar still told it every yeah. day. Dude, it's the greatest And joke. that's when we thought Brittany was terminally ill because she started <laughs> laughing at my jokes. We were like, mm, mm. something's up. Yeah. Why is she being nice? Yeah, that's yeah, weird. She's laughing. That's weird. Yeah. It was before Christmas. Yeah, or after. No, it was after Christmas. Mm. Yeah. So it's not even for a present. Yeah. Hectic. No, okay. weird. Anyway. Uh, what are we tasting? I'm uh, tasting, i got like some kind of wood. Uh, well, PT, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honey, yeah. yeah. So the honey, Apple. yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Whiskey, no, no, no. So the caramelly. I mean, you're almost there. The honey is quite caramelly, and it's it's got that natural multi or not. You say multi sweetness because it's like a round raw sweetness. But yeah, honey. Oh, it's so good. There's there's two flavors that you're missing still. Um, citrus, like orange, mm. on the on the palate. Lemon. No, it's orange. Um, <laughs> oh, black lemon. lemon. Yeah. Citrus like you fucking you know, lemon. It's, it's citrus, orange, <laughs> lemon. <laughs> lemon. He <laughs> popo. Yeah, yeah, and popo, then popo, popo as well. Yeah. And then there's, there's one left that I don't think you guys are going to get. Think of. I didn't get fucking any, dude. <laughs> That's a really good bet. So think of. No, you got the woody or PT part. Think of something that you'd eat, but like old people eat it. Prunes. Mm-mm. 
um, those like old fucking mints. No. Um, like uh, nuts. That what category craft. of food is it in? Uh, Porridge. Uh, let's say little snacks that you could, uh, I mean, cookies. R- rasks. No. Bari biscuits. No. Little uh, cookies. Yeah. <laughs> like um, digestive. Oh, shit. What? Oats. Digestive biscuits. No. <laughs> You're joking, what? dude. I'm not. Who added that to the flavor I'm, profile? I'm not even Fucking joking. Look, look, this is like a look here, but it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's an even spread of orange honey digestive biscuits and PT. What? Yeah, no. No, no, I taste digestive biscuits, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's really nice, though, dude. Yeah, even in there. So, so I think the digestive biscuits comes in with the ginger. Yeah, because there is a little bit of ginger taste to it. So, yeah. And then um, on the finish, what's the finish? <laughs> okay, this the woody part. You were you were on the fucking money with the woody part. Yeah, it's like oak just or think about like no that. something quite far left from wood, but it's a byproduct. Uh, oh, like no, <laughs> Cole. Cole. dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 no, it's um, sawdust. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Honey and sawdust. Mm. My man. <laughs> I don't know which fucking invalid stood there and was like, oh, a little bit of honey and sawdust would in be it. nice for breakfast, innit? it? Well, then, probably a Brit, dude, to be honest. <gasps> I'm going to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> Chris says you're eating honey and sawdust as snacks. Maybe it's got zero calories. Hey, dust. Anybody know dust? <laughs> Anybody know <laughs> dust? Welcome to Fat Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, what did you guys think of this one? I mean, this was rated 4.1 on this one. Best one we've had. Let's be honest, like West Cork was rated 3.9, 3.8. Yeah, I think there was kind of Some fair. of the others, I think the one that we had last week was like, or not last week, the week before, was I think 4.3. Four point two. I'd say this is. This, in my better. opinion, is actually better. But I really enjoy my PT whiskeys. Like my favorite so I, whiskey is like, a like This isn't like like overpowering. No, no, no. I wouldn't even call it PT, but it. it I would hundred like percent rate this higher than four point one because mm, yeah. I am not the biggest fan of PT. I don't like PT. Yeah. And you haven't this. even meet, met PT yet. PT no, I, have. I have. Yeah, I have, man. I have. <laughs> oh, Uncle PT. <laughs> I don't even like PT, dude. <laughs> PT support. I'm, sure, I'm, sure he's a ni- I'm sure he's a nice guy, but just <laughs> he's not my type of Uncle guy. You PT, know? that sounds like his right eye is closed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of PT yeah. whiskeys, and um, this one I can mm-hmm. drink. And also, out of all of the whiskeys we've tasted, this one's been the smoothest. Yeah, no, this is the nicest, ultra smooth. easiest drinking um, the, whiskey. The only one that was smoother than this was the Tom Novelin. But also then, it wasn't smooth. Like, it wasn't full-bodied. Like, this is smooth, and it's full-bodied, and it's round, if, yeah, that, yeah, if that makes sense. Like, I love Tom Novelin, yeah, but, so like, I, this but is definitely like, better. Yeah. So, it's got, like, a very bright feel, mouth feel to it, mm. the Tom Novelin, whereas this is a very, like, round, warm, yeah, yeah, yeah. dark, almost, yeah. you know. I feel uh, like yeah, I could write yeah. a novel after drinking this. I feel thing. like you could write a novel on this. Like, oh, at first, shit, I was, like, I was joking, like, when they were, like, oh, yeah, about up the mermaid falling in Yo, love that with the fucking drinking Bro, this whiskey when he was right motherfucker that, this man was staring at the bottom of this bottle through its fucking <laughs> eye in the top and was like I love you and I mean I'm to be fair I'm some sailor to be fair I think these oaks one night they were like we need to come up with a name for our whiskey they got pissed on a bottle and they were like fucking silky and they wrote this yeah, whole dude. description on the back because I, I, you could see yourself getting there after a couple mm. of these oh for sure because it's so um Silky Don't smooth. fucking say it, dude. Oh my god. This is why you always be a guest. <laughs> anyway, <the> bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the podcast, everyone. Motherfucker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the podcast, everyone. Bye. I'm done now. I'm going home. To, I'm going to find my lawyer. <laughs> we are in your home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, for me, yeah. Four, I'd rate this like 4.5. I'd say 4.5, yeah. Steady. Like it isn't the best we will have, but it's one of the best. I'll be like rating a, it a 5. 6. Yeah, yeah. 6. 5.1. 406. 400. Jesus. Yeah, four hundred and one. So just go... Four, or ten, you can just go six. Four, like this. This yeah, is 4. Did, you said fucking 40. No, why don't you, you, like why don't you just use your fucking mouth, dude? Yeah. 
4.6. Yeah, 4.6. Yo, why don't you, why do you like fair, do flipping fair. Roman numerals with your fingers yeah. there, dude? Because Albert used to play water pillow. No. Hey. That's the NATO alphabet, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey, yo. Don't swear at my mother like that. Morph side. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't do that again. You as well. Both of you can actually fuck off. Fair, dude. Let me finish this. <laughs> I wanted to talk about that. Was really good. Actually. That was really good. That was really nice. I and only I leave room not. like that 0.5 mm. in case we find that mermaid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's it. I'm actually now. So, you know, like there's very few whiskeys <laughs> that have made me go and fuck. I need to taste the rest of them. Damn, in dude. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night. Have a lovely evening. Why I hope did you wherever you are in the world, when you said that, dude. To that. Why did you look at us when you said I got to taste the rest of them? Because I'm going to taste the rest of them now, but emphasize. That whiskey made me want to taste the rest of them, dude. I'm just trying to emphasize <laughs> the fact <laughs> that very few whiskeys have made me want to buy all of them. <laughs> and this weird. has made me want to buy all of them. Few of these whiskeys have made me this fucking rock hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm speaking in an old phone. Anyway, back to the show. <laughs> and now for something completely different. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this um, Coke Zero. Oh, yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done cocaine? <laughs> you want a much better, a healthier option for, for your life. Coke Zero. Take Coke. Coke Zero. It's got aspartamine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's bad for everything else. <laughs> yeah, but it's good for your health <laughs> and your teeth. So, dude, I remember um, Land Days, dude. Back yes. when you used to like, carry the fucking biggest CRTs into somebody's yeah. house. But you'd book a spot in a homie's house. We used to have a, we had a friend, his name was Riley. And hey. a lot of us used to get together. Rousseau. <laughs> um, so no, no, Riley was so cool, dude. Yeah, I was Dem- say. Demasta Nine, yeah, D A M A S T A Nine he's on Twitch. By the way, the man streams PUBG. So. Yeah, but he's also probably busy playing cricket now. Yeah, no, he is. He hasn't streamed for a long time. But yeah. go follow him anyways. Um, no, so Riley, he we used to always go to his house, and then his mom would like take orders. Who wants what, and then she'd go and do all the shopping. So like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I want a two liter Coke Zero, and then for dinner I'll have like. Whatever it is, like steers <laughs> and somebody Coke gets cash. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, literally Coke Zero was like the order. Yeah. This just takes me back to like lands. Yeah. Sitting there for two days fucking straight, not sleeping. Yeah. Playing like Frozen Throne. Yeah. In the yeah. Quake and, and, Arena. And the fucking like go-kart mod for CS uh, Source. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm older than you. We played 1.6, dude. <laughs> yeah, we also played 1.6. We play Counter Strike, the OG, dude. Yeah, we never play against you. It's called Counter Strike. Damn, dude. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, so my fondest memory of like lands is vanilla Coke, actually. Mm. And this like literally combines the is that two not what together. I said? Did I just no, say you Coke? said Coke Zero. Oh fuck, no, dude. Did, did he not? Yeah, I you think just I did. Coke Zero. Maybe you're thinking of yourself. I was. Yeah, yeah the whole time you were like. No, I'm no, like Coke like, Zero. Sorry, Coke Zero. This takes me back because I used to love fucking Coke Zero, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, yeah. <laughs> in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, but Coke Zero has always been around. Joke about, like, Coke and Why are you speaking Coke to the Zero? side of the microphone, dude? Because um, let people hear me. <laughs> people must hear what I'm saying. Yeah, but the side of the mic doesn't have a receiver. Like, yeah, but if I speak loud enough, it's okay. I go I back you always. Thank you for corroborating my okay, story. Listen, I meant said Coke Zero. I mean Coke Zero. You mean yes. vanilla Coke? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> vanilla Coke, yes. Vanilla Coke. <laughs> <laughs> wait. No, wait. No. All right, let's fuck this bum hole. No, you've taken it away. The one that goes, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, I took it away, dude. Okay. Fucking. <laughs> Vagina. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but vanilla coke. Vanilla for everybody. Coke. So everybody, listen to that story again. Rewind, yeah. uh, like a couple Edit of seconds yourself. back, and then listen. To, and then every time Bumflowski says Coke Zero, just go vanilla coke in your head. Okay. So every time he's like, yeah, yeah my friend's mum would buy me Coke Zero. Go like vanilla coke, and then yeah. you know, okay. And then you'll understand the story, and then you can laugh. Just explain it one more time, just okay. in case I don't get it. Coke dude. Zero <laughs> instead of vanilla coke. Vanilla coke. No. Yeah. 
Wrong way. It's not easy. Okay, dude. It's, it's not done. easy. It's, it's not easy. <laughs> no, but yeah, that was. Uh, but, but yeah, you're right. So vanilla coke because they had the col- collectible cans. They had cool the collect- conclusion. Yeah, no, but they yeah. had the collectible cans for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. and you could collect all the the fucking cool cans. Anyway, can I end this on a, like a bombshell for you to think about? You don't have to answer right away. Okay. Well, Are okay. we ending now? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Fine, dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. the fuck out of my house. Some of us work tomorrow. Dude, anyway. you already sent us codes to leave the complex, dude. Uh, so. No, I haven't, <laughs> but I will shortly. Okay. okay end it on a bombshell, Okay, dude. here's a bombshell. If okay. you were to write a book about yourself, what would the last line be? <laughs> yes. What would the last line be? Would be... Um, Your opus. <laughs> to be continued, dude. But it would just say, dude... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, mine dude. would say, and then he woke up. No, man. Fuck yeah, off. Can I tell you, that was my worst. <laughs> when I was marking essays, and they're like, Era, and he was like fucking abseiling down a mountain, <laughs> and he moved the floor because the rope was short, and then he woke up. I was like, you fuck right off. You write a new one, and you don't give me that shit. No, dude, I wrote a. Because we were told specifically, do not. Write any stories that end in then I woke up. Yeah, yeah so but it's like you can't write a script as well for the yeah. films as well. That's a terrible script. And it's just Inception. <laughs> Even then, it's like, it's cool. But and like, I woke up within a dream. And yeah. And like, oh. <laughs> no, so my whole thing was like, I was like, how do I write a story about waking up where it is a really good part of the story? And I cannot remember because I wrote it in grade nine, which is a fucking long time ago, dude. Yeah. Um, uh, we basically <laughs> chiseled it into the side of a mountain. That's all. That's <laughs> like almost, that's like that was long ago, dude. Which mountain? Maybe we can go find it. Which mountain? Motherfucker, dude. In a couple months. <laughs> 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 Post-grain copy, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, in a couple of months, that's 20 years ago. Yeah, I do. Holy <laughs> shit. Ooh. No, it's not. Ooh. No, it's fucking not, dude. Ah. Jesus. How old are you? <laughs> I'm a chicken lad in 07. Yeah, this how, motherfucker. How old are you now? 20 years ago, dude. Yeah, 20 years ago. I was grade, barely started. I was barely talking about grade nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. All of a sudden, the CA <laughs> can't do maths. Yes, sus. CA versus uh, BA. <laughs> we don't work in sure. years, dude. Yeah. It auto populates <laughs> on XL, dude. Oh, sorry. How are you? Control million? shift and L, dude. <laughs> yeah. And it just puts the data in there for you, bro. <laughs> Take the L. Um, Control shift loser. Dude, I can't remember, but I got an A plus and it was uh, published in our um, like, um, yearbook. A yearbook. I can't remember what it was. But it was a good story. <laughs> Thank but, God. but you woke up at the end, huh? Yeah, but that was part of it. It was uh, like, like the, the waking like a, up in the end was like the, it was like a really good mm. ending for what had happened. But it was a part of that Checker 66 ad as well with like taking off the cliff of the mountain and, all of a sudden, and then I woke up I and I was in Tom that. Cruise. I haven't seen that. Have you seen the controversy around the um, Ned Flores ad? Which one? Let me tell you, yeah. I love Ned Flores ads usually, but they really I fucked up with this one. I usually love it because it's like, oh, welcome to Harold's relationship. I fucking hate it. I feel like it is the biggest <sighs> stereotypical. It's stereotypical. It, it it is stereotypical. I will admit, it is quite sort of like. I feel like it would have flown in the nineties, but every yes. time I hear it now, okay. I'm just like, this is fucking no, annoying, that I get. dude. So I, I I never used to look at it like that because I always found it was like quite funny because it's but I. I I suppose it is. It's a very stereotypical flamboyant sort of homosexual character or, or metrosexual character, similar to Cameron in Family Guy. Yeah, but but it like he's I, very like over the top flamboyant, you know, sort of. But like, I feel yeah. like they don't need to do that to solve no, the they jokes. Don't, they don't. They're like they're the jokes are really good. Yeah, but then that they make mm. that the crux. Like that's the yeah. that's the subject. That's of the, whole the takeaway. Thing. Like, Although I didn't I get, I, I I didn't interpret it that that was the takeaway. Like for me, the whole idea was the the mother in law thing. You know, like, oh, do you want to buy your flowers for your mother in law yeah. rather not or whatever? Yeah, but I mean, you could, <clears> like, <throat> oh, man. Yeah, there's, there's better ways to do it. Yeah, there's yeah, way better ways. Yeah. There's better ways. But, um, this but yeah, latest this latest advert, one, where have it's you like, seen it? I've only heard it on the radio. I haven't seen any. So, well, I, I don't know if it's the same one now. Is it the one about the Cape Independence thing? No, tell me about this. Uh, maybe I'm <sighs> talking about the okay, wrong no, fucking you, ad. You mentioned that yours first because it might jog my memory. No, so this one I thought was actually pretty funny dude but it was like um this chick that's making coffee yeah. and she's just spitting on the coffee and then taking it to her husband because <laughs> mm. he obviously didn't buy any shit mm. yeah so she's like 
And like then she goes to take she's like, Hey my lovey, and then she goes to take him his coffee because obviously she yeah. he didn't buy anything for Valentine's uh, Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. And I was like, I don't know why people are getting so upset about this. Oh, yeah. But that, that must that's definitely not the ad that okay, came no. independent sounds like it <laughs> would one, be the thing. Yeah. Like it's a hundred percent the thing. The one that I heard <laughs> Okay, the, the uh, that's fucking mild then compared <laughs> yeah. to this. But uh, but like we were driving home yesterday. And like usually we don't often very li- like we don't very often listen to the radio, but I w- we were listening to the radio anyway. We were listening, and then yeah, our Netflix ad comes on between. And we were like talking, talking. All of a sudden, we like heard like uh, in the background because of ADHD, you can listen to five conversations at once. It's a problem, but a, it's a blessing and a curse. Anyway, so what was going on is like on the radio they were talking then about like how all of these fun things, you know, or not fun things. It's like, oh yeah, you, we can't guarantee no load shedding, but you can guarantee flowers. You can't guarantee whatever, whatever, but you can guarantee. And all of a sudden they, then they equated sort of a successful in uh, like something. The gist of it was that they equated a successful order from the uh, net florist or whatever as the same as achieving Cape independence oh, wow. or something like that. Like it just didn't sit right. When I first heard it, I haven't heard it again because I, we don't listen, like I said, we don't yeah, listen to the radio, fucked, yeah. but it was, it yeah. was, it was pretty fucked where I was like, Oh, this is just so middle-class white. It's, 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 you know, yeah. it's fucking horrible actually. And, and I heard it and I was like, I usually love the adverts. I really, really usually do. And I often like give the benefit of the doubt for humor, but, Oh, fuck when I when I heard that I was like this is this is atrocious. You actually. know what I think you're trying to do, which you can't. I think you're trying to be Nando's. I'll find the advert quickly. I feel like they're trying to be Nando's, right? Yeah. So it's like no, well, because like Nando's, Nando's can make a joke about that uh, and they can pull it off. I was about to say Nando's have mastered that fine line. Between, it's their brand tone, dude. Yeah, but exactly. But yeah. also, you don't you don't get like offended by the ads. You know, no, because it's their ads. brand tone. It's Some exactly people what do, they but do. Obviously, the majority yeah. don't. You know, because. They've got, they've mastered that fine yeah. line between it's, that whole. It's within you know, your expectation of their coming from. Them. If they release perfect, something you nice, know? you go, wait, where's the joke? Yeah. yeah. And you try and, where, and then you try and find in yeah, there because where it's their, the joke it's their is. brand. Yeah. That's, it's tied into yeah. their brand. Like, no, nobody else can do that. That's, that's actually just as that. we were talking about it now, the Netflix ads before were those very stereotypical, like, you know, the yeah, gay the, guy, the very gay flamboyant guy, yeah. gay guy and stuff like that. So for them to try and do something like this, it's wildly you outside. can see they tried and it did not land at Oof, all. Yeah, no, they're getting hasn't, a lot of shit. You know, on so mind, so yeah, Nando's for years have been nailing it, and they've they've mastered that fine line, which is, as I said, emphasis on fine line. You know, yeah. they, it's it's difficult to to you know get there. Yeah, interesting. But hectic, yeah. No, I haven't. I have not heard that. I wonder if they've made a video or like a actual ad you know video ad so the only video the only video ad that i can find is, is the it? one with that auntie spitting <laughs> into the coffee are you on the right website yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Auntie sp- spitting. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> um yeah then on the advice uh, yeah I'll, I'll i'll find i'll find it <laughs> okay so, rolls old you're yeah. so busy beatboxing <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's because the only one they have on their website is the Herald Relationship Hotline. Okay. But yeah, anyway, it's just something about equating Cape Independence to a successful order from their first or something along those lines. And it was, it is very out of touch. It's it's super it's, tone it's deaf. Very, dude. Yeah, yeah, very oh, tone deaf. God. That's the one. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no out of yeah, touch is spot on as well. Like yeah. they, they don't have their finger on the pulse. Like that's a very they contentious really effort, uh, um, a very contentious subject. Yeah. So anybody that's listening that's not from South Africa, mm-hmm. our auntie there on the bus in Belarus. Yeah, yeah. Um, like there's this whole movement locally. It's not. I don't even think it's a big movement. I no. think like social media, they maybe making it look a lot bigger than it is, but. Um, Western Cape trying to get its own independence, like become a separate country to the rest of South Africa. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of people pushing for it, but social media you can make things look a lot bigger than they are. I um, mean, it's very, very contentious, obviously. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and find it now. There's just a lot of people complaining on Twitter about their service and stuff like that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they are dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> Need flour, sweets. We've got beef, <laughs> bro. I've, I've had so many things delivered, and it's just like yeah. fucking rotten, dude. Yeah. So I'll I'll try like I'll listen out, but it's on the radio. If you do hear the ad, please just um, sort of 
recorded and send a link or something so that we can hear it again but yeah, yeah it's well not that you like i just want to hear it again to make sure that uh, sort of my interpretation yeah. was correct but yeah but, but they, if they, that's they your take away, about, that's it's, uh, yeah it's just something about like uh, you know what it's about as good as you achieving cape independence or as lucky as you achieving cape independence or something yeah. like and i was like oh it's, it's just not, not a thing to it's so toned if you don't joke about it because it's not it's such a contentious, yeah. like, oh, there's, there's no good connotation no, around it. Yeah. No, there isn't, because it is. It's like, it's just sort of racist white buddies trying to tune that they want to keep Cape Town from the rest of South Africa. Literally, because it, it has racial undertones. It's, That's, it's literally it's as simple yeah. as that. It's literally trying to make like a Aranya 2.0 closer, like an Aranya on the ocean. Yeah, I was about to say. Aranya BDCA. Aranya BDCA, yeah. But yeah, like, they would have done a lot better. Sorry, I get that chocolate now. Yeah, you see the chocolate, yeah, yeah. Um, they would have done a lot better being like something, you know, like um, something that would even change Drukas's opinion of the government. Yeah. You know, yeah, like exactly. yeah. Easy, dude. Yeah. No, but there's definitely better ways and better things they could have compared to than, than this. This was like a weird, horrible, dude. horrible well, decision. Uh, I saw somebody today. I think it was Goth, uh, Goth Honey, Goth Wani, Goth, <laughs> Goth Wani, <laughs> but not Soz. <laughs> I think or it was either her or Androva that had said, or oh, no, no, I lied. It was a minister of menstruation. Oh, uh, yeah, I love that, yeah, dude. Yeah. She was like, you know what's fucking crazy about adverts is that people hire somebody to make that. Somebody makes but that who copy. Who signs it off? Another person proofreads that copy. The client then reads that copy and then still signs it off before no, it gets fucking published. That's before it even gets recorded. Yeah. And like, then it gets recorded and then they all like make little micro adjustments. Yeah. Like, we, but that's we, a, like that video crazy, for our dude. website. Yeah. That was shot December last year. Yeah. And it's literally been back and forth between we want to make these changes, these changes, these changes. Are you happy? Yes, mm. go live. And now it's October 2024. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing even in the editing stage is they're not like a director or editor that looks at this advert and be like uh, oh, this is this a bit this, fucked it's a bit sketchy you but know no, you like even though this writer. this is the first this yeah. is the first um first draft it still looks a bit sketchy maybe you know like there's not really ways i can edit this anymore to make it not sketchy but it's, should we not maybe decide to do something different dude, yeah. it's you just know? it's just so simple dude it's so simple to not make a mistake like that because 100 it's not hard to go onto especially a platform like twitter go search that word and go see like go look through 10 tweets and, and see tell me we, yeah, how exactly. many positives and how many negatives out of those 10 tweets yeah. And I bet you exactly. it's like, like nine out of 10 is, is that, hate. Yeah. What is trending on that yeah. word? And then you can take it from there, you know, oh, it's crazy. dude. And I mean, as you say, as you guys say, like before this thing is actually approved before this thing is actually completed the ad, mm. there's about 15 to 20 people that have seen this oh, it has to be and edited and said, okay, cool. Given approval yeah. uh, to this is perfect. This is the best ad we can do. You know, it's, this Wild. is going to make us money. Yeah. Well, sorry, I see now there's an article here actually that stems with you uh, in, in terms of this whole Herald thing mm. where the headline for Mamba, Mamba LGBT is a uh, net florist gay in inverted commas, Herald not offensive enough rules ad regulator. Oh, cool. So obviously the rules ad regulator stated that um, this Herald sort of character isn't offensive enough. So it's, it's a, such a wild tagline though, yeah. dude. It's not offensive enough. Yeah. It's like, well, what a so weird, it's not offensive I know what you're enough saying. to be deemed yeah, yeah. offensive. Let's know, put it like, that way. Choose your yeah. words. Like, yeah, yeah. Imagine, yeah. Yeah, but, but that's exactly it. So, like, yeah. so I imagine this isn't them that wrote it, but I yeah. imagine it's the rules ad regulator saying, no, it's not offensive enough to be considered offensive. Well, mm. technically but if somebody's levels writing of offense, to you, yeah, then then it's not about levels of offense, you know. So yeah, they said is here, it, is the it, subheading is the camp sounding character of Harold in the Net Florist ads has been accused of stereotyping gay men, naturally, like we just discussed. But he's now been given the thumbs up by the advertising regulatory board. Bunch of old love white straight men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you but that's know what it. I mean. Or oh, it's old straight women that yeah, fucking yeah. love it because they love the idea of a of a like a, a gay best friend that they could never yeah. have sort of thing. It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's like, like, who, like 
Could you check that with? I mean, uh, hopefully yeah. they write that article with with the wrong, with check in. But this yeah. is the problem. If you're you checking know. it with the wrong demographics, yeah. then what the fuck do you expect? You can't go to the people that enjoy drinking Coke and saying, hey, do you like drinking Coke? <laughs> yeah. Why? You yeah. Know, 10 out of 10 what? people we asked, yeah. we only asked 10. <laughs> none, out of, none out of 10 dentists recommend toothpaste. <laughs> okay. The fucking, one, yeah. The but ones in an insane asylum. Yeah. <laughs> gu- gu- guarantee you orthopedic And he says surgeons. that you need to rub rocks on your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Some orthopedic surgeons don't think you should brush your toes, you know, <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. But yeah, essentially, so it's talking about how it's quite demeaning to effeminate men, um, you know, and it's like wax my sack, we have a winner, um, you know, and yeah, it's not dude, appropriate for, fucking for, crazy, for, for, dude. and like, it's a funny tagline. I, I no, will sure. admit, like, I laughed at it. I will gladly admit that I laughed at it. But at the same time now, in retrospect, I'm like, fuck, this is actually, it's actually quite terrible. But, you but know? Uh, look, it, it doesn't mean... It, like what we know now is very different. I mean, we, we spoke oh, yeah, about yeah. this briefly, briefly in the yeah. last podcast. So this was and it's something four, five that we will years talk. ago already that yeah, these yeah. adverts were happening. I mean, we'll talk about this. Maybe, maybe we're just going to pass this topic along, but eventually yeah. we will talk about it. But unlearning homophobia, unlearning yeah. racism, all yeah. of these things, because these things were embedded in us from a very young age. We used to... It's like very it's tough to talk about because the is. problem is, I think... We're embarrassed about this shit, dude. It because is. Like you it's look back and you're like, I'm, I'm, It's not even embarrassment. I'm fucking mm, disgusted at is. some of the stuff that I do. Yeah, like, it's ashamed. It's 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 about actually not not necessarily embarrassment because yeah. ashamed for me in my in my eyes, embarrassment and shame are not necessarily the same thing because oh, yeah, embarrassment is a lighter yeah. version of shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame is like deep-seated yeah, to yeah, your core where you actually gross, recognize dude. what you've done wrong. Yeah, when you're almost That's like you, you Where you have something to yourself, apologize dude. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually when you have something to apologize for. Embarrassment doesn't necessarily mean you have something to apologize for because it could be accidental. But so, also we didn't know any better. So this is the thing is like when, yeah, when I say like we have to unlearn yeah. things is because it was so usual back then. Mm. Like, if um so if there's something you don't agree with, you'd be like, oh, that's gay. Yeah, you know, well, that's it. Like so, that, so using that, gay as a derogatory or a, a negative connotation. We didn't for know things. that wasn't yeah. our intention. Mm. It was just like the language. Yeah, right? that was just what you said. Yeah, but like and now you're like, what a fucking stupid yeah. thing, dude. Like yeah. how like did we why? go through that stage? Yeah. Like it's just and that's such it, a, like at, it's like wild, now dude. you look back at it and you're like, where the fuck is the logic in assuming that gay people are negative, you know, yeah, sort dude. of thing, or assuming like that now the if word I gay, called gay. I'm like, that is such a compliment, yeah, dude. Thanks. They're like the yeah. best fucking people in the world, yeah, literally, exactly. dude. Yeah, and that's it. And it's like usually, and like my my big thing is as well. Like it's it's something that I'm quite conscious of now is that when people use gay in a negative light. I'll quickly correct it because I know mm. that that isn't right. And I used to do that. So that's yeah. something I'm conscious of that people still use in conversation. And when somebody says, oh, that's gay. I'm like, listen, just FYI, yeah, yeah. this is why you cannot or shouldn't say that mm. because it equates sort of negative connotations to homosexuality yeah. and the gay lifestyle, et cetera. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and if they, if they then say, oh no, but it's just a word or, or, or yeah, that they don't understand then why. An then there's, factor, exactly. Right? Then there's a lot more education that needs to happen around. But that. That's what, that's what we had to go through as well. Like yeah. what, what I love about where we've grown to now is that we're surrounded by so many diverse people, mm. like different sexualities, yeah. different genders, different, different just identities. Dude, yeah. it's, it's phenomenal. Mm. So like, being able to reach out to people and understand, mm. like, understand things better and go. I mean, I've approached a lot of people and been like, this is how I've normally spoken about things. Is this bad? Yeah. You know, like, I've seen something to Nicholas Van Jay before because yeah. I got a message from somebody saying, like, oh, this has a really terrible connotation and it yeah. feels like you've been very homophobic. And I was like, thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. Straight person. Yeah. I'm willing. I'm going to speak to I'm going to speak literally. to my gay friend. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent it to Nick and I was like, Nick, you can't I'm- say that. Nick, Nick says everything's homophobic. <laughs> no, no, no. So I sent it to him, dude. And I was like, listen, somebody's approached me and saying like, this has a very homophobic yeah. undertone and stuff. And I just want to get your perspective because it's a learning point for me. Yes, like, yeah, it's yeah. not my intention, but like I want but to correct shows my language. intention to learn, yeah. And he's exactly. like, no, that person's being stupid. <laughs> Even <laughs> since me, he's what, like, is that person straight? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they sound pretty straight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> straggit. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, Nicholas that's Van Jay's favorite dude. term is a straggit. I love and it. And it's dude. literally like a straight F slur. Yeah. <laughs> straggit. Um, it's so great. But yeah, but, but that's exactly it. And like, I think personally, I hope that a lot of the people that are listening understand that, you know, it's, We've changed. Oh, you dude, know, it was because come from somewhere. So Fakile and Balula was talking about how, like, um, he said, like, it's not Rusty who did away with quotas; it's me because oh, yes. they were counterproductive. So I quote retweeted that, 
And I said, if this dude had too few ribs, he'd be too busy to be making such cut comments. Oh, no. 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 So then I got to Listen, a even message. as a straight male, I will tell you this. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is not a homophobic yeah, yeah. comment. So I got a message from somebody and then he's like, hey, I'm struggling to see what was taken as potentially homophobic. So I was like, okay, so it wasn't just me. He's like, the punchline is that he would suck, suck his own dick because he's self-absorbed, not because he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I appreciate that people are trying to hold others accountable, but that was quite a stretch. So it was like, it was nice to, like, <laughs> it's nice to yeah. also ask people, yeah. like, it's, it's nice to have, like, no, um, a network around you where you can just check things as well. And, like, mm-hmm. it's coming from an honest perspective. Because as you say, yeah, would have gone like, under, if he turned around and said, yeah, dude, that's, that's horribly homophobic. Yeah. Like, that's really offensive. Like, Nick's yeah. really down the middle as yeah. well. Like, he, he won't say things because he finds it offensive. He'll be like, no, maybe this, like, offends me, but it doesn't offend everybody, yeah. you know? But as you say, but then it's just from a learning point of view because yeah, it's yeah. not like that was your intention, was to do that, if yeah. it was homophobic. But, that, but, but yeah. intention intention is not always the problem, right? Because, like, no, back in the day, enough, we were like, yeah. oh, that's gay. Our intention wasn't to be homophobic. Our intention was just, like, to say, oh, that's... No, terrible. that's terrible yeah, yeah. yeah you know but we could have just used the word terrible and we had yeah. to unlearn all of that dude because yeah. that was literally yeah. embedded in us like there, there was like deep within our roots and it was deep within our language and like we had to unlearn that there's so many of those examples you know um but it, it's it's really good that we're making that progress and we're learning those things and like it's good that we look back with regret and i do enjoy I think that if we it just back, like sort of died out yeah, like, I mean, but, but I think it was the education. Right? Yeah, no, hundred percent. Like, I mean, I don't remember the last time I said something like that. No, dude, you know, mine was literally like primary school. Yeah. I'm pretty sure of it. But that's because you learned that yeah, it's yeah, wrong. Yeah. That's, yeah, a, that's yeah. the thing. It's all about learning what's wrong, why it's wrong, and then just learning from that, you know, yeah, and yeah. educating others. I think that's the important part. Yeah. And then also, I think the one that gets me the most, and I know I do say it from time to time, but is when you say like sort of a little bitch, like that's, yeah. Like, I know a lot of females use it as well. So, like, Brittany, she'll be like, oh, don't be such a little bitch sort of thing. But I think I think there's a lot more to dig into in that regard. Yeah, like, with, with that more. term, you know, like. Right now, yeah. I feel like that is probably the word that we need to unlearn. Yes, then. yeah. So, that's so, maybe, like, our yeah. old gay. And, so like, if, now if it's, you, like, the little bitch thing. If you, like, if you want to look at the history of swear words, yeah. uh, there's, there's that show on Netflix with Nicolas Cage called The History of Swear Words. It's actually really good. Really, really mm. interesting watch if you want. It's quite fun, a little bit quirky. If you don't feel like thinking too much and, and learning something fun and interesting, then watch it. And in there, they talk about um, uh, like all the different swear words. So pussy, dick, Damn you know, goodness. whatever. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey, yo, doctor, doctor, give me the news. I've got a bad case of feeling... Dick. What are you <laughs> <laughs> anyway? So, so it's like all these different swear words, and they go through the process of it. And like Brittany, for example, I was watching one, and she's like, "Listen, do you mind just watching that, like on your phone or on your computer with headphones?" Because she said that word just there's just something about it, yeah, that just rubs it up the wrong way. Yeah. And it's just because it's it's this equation of female sort of genitalia True. being negative sort of thing. Yeah, so, yeah. so it is, and it's and it's not that's not that. originally what the swear word was because it's supposed to be about pussy malian, which actually means scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, which okay. means scared and fearful. That's interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, but, but it's like this 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 connotation that's sort of been changed and adapted over the years that we actually have to unlearn. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but I mean, like um, meanings change. Right? Yeah, no, hundred percent. It's like the. The racist K word. Yes, like everybody yeah. goes, oh, it means non believer. No, that's what it means. No, but it, that's no, just no, racist. No, no, no. Like people telling themselves <laughs> yeah. that so they can sleep at night. Yeah, yeah. listen. And so that they don't, so that they That's think not part of your normal no. vocabulary and it's not how you describe Definitely not. an atheist in because your language. Because there's not every yeah. other no. second boot that's also saying inshallah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or exactly. You, you know, like that's, that's the, only, the only word that you know in that language. Exactly. <laughs> like, come on. And you're using it in the way that mm. you intend to use yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. So it, it's exactly that as well. Is like language changes over time, like connotation changes all the time. Intention, mm. intention is everything for me, but also, yeah, but like you like say, you connotation. Saying, intention is very, very important. 
Um, yeah. I said, like I try and when it, this is a, the third thing that I going back to the previous conversation, uh, the third thing that I try and learn from like that I've learned for conversations is try to dissect somebody's intentions for what they're saying. Yes. Yeah. Um, sometimes they're being defensive. Sometimes mm. they hurt. Sometimes they're trying to, hurt, to just yeah. hurt you. Mm. Um, so like yeah, if you dissect their intention, then you can understand and you can steer a conversation. And you can also see if it's actually worth your energy. That's yeah. the difference. 99% of the time it probably is. 100%. Yeah. So like, Understanding intention is really important because then you can have an honest conversation with somebody. Like if somebody's being aggressive with something, mm. they're saying something to hurt you. Yeah. Like, like you say again, it's tonality. Like my mom always used to say to us, she's not Sylvia, quote unquote. But it's not what you say, but how you say yeah, it. It's so true, and that's that. very important because yeah. look, it's not saying you can say, "Oh, you little dumb fuck." You yeah, know, yeah. It's 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 about say. <laughs> <laughs> But also why you say it. Yeah, exactly. So, so like, I mean, like, Brittany always jokes because I talk to Jack in a very nice tone, but I'm like, you little fuckhead, aren't you? And then, <laughs> and then he's like, it's like fucking wagging his tail going mad. You know, but I mean, uh, for them, dogs register tone. So, it's, yeah. it's again, it's about how you say it, not necessarily what you say it. Because, yeah. like, my mom's the worst with that, where she'll come flying into a conversation and she'll fucking lay down the worst accusation and she means it as a joke and we understand that she means it as a joke but the way she says it she's like what the fuck are you doing and you're like okay oh. and she's like no i just want to see what you're doing for the weekend you know and you're like oh, okay listen we need to have a chat okay i love it so much dude. but it is like what are you doing you know and then she's be like no i didn't mean it like that but like she obviously means it as a joke but it doesn't get taken as a joke because yeah. she's she's yeah. too serious sometimes so we we've often said to her like she needs to be careful of how she says things because she often gets interpreted no, don't, very wrong don't no don't tame that beast that's amazing like i think it's the yeah, funniest if, thing in the world not even not if you were growing up in that household my man <laughs> yes <laughs> hey, hey rhino skin my boy yeah. hairy rhino skin. come for a coffee sometime and then she'll be like hey Baldy, what you doing here? I love you it, know? dude. I love it. No, you don't. You'd be like, I'm sorry. So this is my favorite, oh. dude. Like that, that I was t- telling you about your advert that you guys shot. Oh, yes, I just yeah. love it. The end, like it, it's all the stuff. <laughs> yeah. And there's your mom just sitting there smiling. Yeah, it's so cute, beaming, dude. Yeah. It makes my heart so warm, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just like, that is so great, dude. Oh, no. It's a beautiful thing. Um, yeah. But I do want to end on some, like a crazy fact. Tom. Pigeons don't have a gag reflex. <laughs> <laughs> That's Pigeons not from experience. Rats. Also, and another rats. thing about lovely Sylvia, can I tell you how she used okay, to... Okay, well, fucking, we're no. talking about gag reflexes, yeah, so you better no, reel listen, it right I am, back. I am, I am, I am. So the way That's that my mother used to kill rats in the house, she used to mix... Uh, owl friendly version okay. of this of, is the end of the <laughs> yeah of, of 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 rat poison where it was like flour sugar and bicarb so they chow it but yeah, then they pop exactly little little rat grenades running around the house dude, little fur grenades because they don't have gag reflexes that's insane also fun fact about pigeons bro how do you go from gag to explaining rats to fun fact because they don't have a gag reflex yeah. just yeah. like pigeons yeah, you dumb fuck oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. vanilla coke and coke zero <laughs> same same eh? <laughs> mm-hmm. we will but never are, forget the internet is forever bro but that is such a fundamental like design flaw what in pigeons or yeah, the black flower sugar combo? No, 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 no. Like oh, okay. rats and pigeons not being yeah. able like rats eat anything. Especially because like you'd think the shit that they eat would create like a lot of Exactly. Gas. That's what I'm saying. Pigeons eat yeah. fucking anything. Yeah. They're literally the rats of the sky. I could imagine yeah, yeah especially at Vits. Have you seen those things? Yes, Fuck me, dude. those things are actually and they give the hardy dogs a run for their money. Dude, those things look like they walk around with leprosy. Yes. You think like one of their legs is just gonna fall off or something? Dude. I don't think we can joke about that. But also <laughs> like the rats, could you imagine rats lying? there like if they had a gag reflex right yeah. they'd be lying there and be like oh i'm a bit full in it and oh, then, uh, full. Yeah, <laughs> i imagine dude. them being able to burp but they can't um, that's scary. such a crazy thing i though, thought dude. you were gonna say you imagine them to being british I don't know. <laughs> a little bit of both you're, innit? Uh, you're I mean, like oh i'm a bit full in it <laughs> no, I blame that toilet movie what was it called flushed away oh, yeah, flushed right. because yeah, of that because yeah. everybody was british even yeah. the toad but dude, how <laughs> dude? It's such a fundamental flaw for two like, like scavengers, vo- yeah, dude. Literally, like imagine vultures couldn't burp or didn't have stomach acids to process like rotten dude, meat. It's weird, dude. It's weird. It's like moles being blind. Why, dude? Just fuck. Give them, give them eyes. Dude. To be fair, Let those, like, see. they fucking underground anyway. I don't give a so... shit, dude. Like, 
Like dude, just flying, flying around at night. Eyes, it's dude. not like they have fucking like a camp master headlights. Yeah, but they don't keep their eyes closed the whole of the day. Dude. Let them look, man. Let them see the that's, world. Dude. That's a fucking sleep. Oh, but let them fucking o- I've seen them open their eyes with their tollies out there <laughs> fucking looking dude what bat tolly have you seen bro dude? there's bats that wasn't a bat that's a that big was, tolly that was a vampire my dude, man dude yeah it's Kakuza dude it's <laughs> North- Kakuza <laughs> eating your toasted cheese and you look up and there's just a uh, bat tolly uh, looking at you dude that was Morbius dude that was, that was Jared Leto hanging Jared, on your roof fuck. with his dick out yeah hey, Nos, Nosferatu that's a pubes yeah Nosferatpus <laughs> what a terrible movie the South African vampire Nosferatpus <laughs> dude, fundamental flaw. Dude, that's um, crazy. That is a, like a terrible design flaw in animals. I that think th- I will admit. Let's let's carry that theme forward into the next. What, design podcast. flaws like, in animals. Yeah, dude, okay, like so that. we each have to bring a design flaw. I like that. Yeah, yeah we'll talk about like Albie's face. <laughs> she. <laughs> <laughs> No, what is <laughs> so hectic, dude. Oh, man, I'm just joking. So hectic, I'm just joking. dude. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That's so hectic. That was horrible. Christopher, you take that back. <laughs> now. I'm saying settle down, dude. I can't believe you called his face I'm disgusting. I'm father. What a... Mark? Mark. <laughs> hey, Mark. Um, anyway. So, yeah. Okay, so fundamental flaws in animals. Yeah, I like it. I've if anybody's got, listening, oh, please I've got, tweet yeah. us, please... Yeah. You, on give Spotify you can actually leave comments discuss, on please, man. YouTube you can leave comments like yeah, give or us just your retweet fundamental the link. just yeah, yeah. retweet the link give us an idea or quote retweet it yeah, with, yeah. with your fundamental, your fundamental flaw, flaw that we yeah. can then scroll, scroll through and also just give it like a hashtag chinwags yeah, hashtag, hashtag chinwags flaws no dude okay, just, just <laughs> chinwags <laughs> Okay, sorry. That's a lot that's, of. That's this guy's literally words. making like a flipping using every One letter in the day. alphabet, dude. <laughs> the quick brown fox. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag chin, chin rags floors sounds like we like do tiling <laughs> and fucking parquet flooring. So if you have We're any flooring done, tea and we'll yeah. do your floors, if you have any <laughs> flooring <laughs> done, if you, need, if you need your floors replaced to tiles, get to hashtag Chinwags Floors <laughs> and we'll get there. It's right next to Boston and Bazaar. Spot a floor, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Come to Chinwags Floors. That's C-H-I-N-W-A-G. Come to Chinwags Floors. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to end the podcast here. That would have been great, dude. You could have, actually. Yeah. Maybe we should. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Podcast. This guy oh, fucked God, it up dude. again, dude. Jesus, do, 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 again. Do, 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 podcast.